This made the fatty's feelings towards Track Fam increase somewhat, capable yet not arrogant, keeping the master safe, truly a loyal servant. When everyone was seated, the fatty announced, Today, the prince has come to unveil the thousand-year destiny of the three families. Hearing this, everyone looked at him in astonishment. The fatty continued, The three family heads must have received this prophecy. The three families cannot be enemies. They must love and help each other, and cannot leave Phoenix City until the bright pearl shines. In fact, this was an agreement established 1,000 years ago between the royal family and the three families, called the Bright Pearl Secret Order. The three families, as well as the seven noble families, were all founding loyalists. Hearing this, everyone was stunned in amazement. Lack Van Thuong didn't understand, if so, why did we become lower class families? The fatty sighed, that was our fault towards you. When the Tian Wu Empire was newly established, the foundation was still weak, and the people's hearts were restless. The founding emperor appointed the seven founding loyalists to govern various regions, suppress the unruly, and granted them autonomy equal to the imperial court. These were the seven noble families. Twenty years later, the power of the seven noble families became too great, causing internal conflicts to erupt. The royal family could no longer control them, so they could only use the strategy of divide and conquer to drain their strength. Afterwards, the seven noble families realized that continuing like this benefited no one, so they ceased fighting. But the war had caused devastating casualties, and the risk of national destruction was ever present. Hearing this, Track Fam asked, What does this have to do with our three families? The fatty seriously replied, In fact, the three families were also founding loyalists, all former senior court officials. If they had remained in court, they would certainly have been on par with the four pillars. Hearing this, everyone was stunned. Equal to the four pillars? You must know that the four pillars of the Tian Wu Empire control the military, economy, politics, and diplomacy. There are even rumors that their actual power is even greater causing the royal family to be wary of them. The four pillar families and the seven noble families form the empire's most solid strategic strength, but also restrain each other. If one side loses balance, the empire will collapse. Lack Van Thuong couldn't believe his ancestors were so formidable, that they could have even become the rulers of the empire. But why have they now fallen to this state? The fatty explained, to prevent the war of the seven noble families from recurring. The founding emperor secretly agreed with your ancestors. First, he used various excuses to exile the three families to Phoenix City, making them ordinary families. When the seven noble families went to war again, he would then nurture you as a balancing force, minimizing casualties. At this point, Track Fam interrupted, the destiny of our three families is clear. Now I just want to ask one thing, how will you make us the three noble families? The fatty smiled, indeed, the steward sees the issue clearly. Of course, with the royal family's power, elevating a family is not difficult. The difficulty is how to rise without being detected. The seven noble families cannot simply watch us become their equals. Hearing Track Fam's words, everyone realized the seriousness of the issue. Indeed, how could the seven noble families allow us to rise, or even surpass them? Instead, they will destroy us before we can grow strong. Thinking of this, the head of the Thai family couldn't help but admire Track Fam's wisdom. If he hadn't angered him before, they could have allied by now. At this point, the fatty told everyone that this issue had been arranged since the secret order was established. That is the most crucial element of a family. Not elixirs or treasures, those are secondary. Powerful experts are the most important guarantee for a family's prosperity. The Kanlong sect has nine elders, with formidable strength. The Wuming Valley also has twelve elders guarding it. In the seven noble families, each has their strongest comrades in arms. As for guardians, each family brings their secret weapons. To mislead the seven noble families, the founding emperor confiscated all your assets. That's why you now have no decent martial arts or weapons. But precisely because of this, the seven noble families' surveillance on you was lifted 500 years ago. However, they didn't expect that you still possess a transcendent martial art. With it, you can train your own forces. Even the seven noble families only have one or two transcendent arts. Hearing this, everyone was astonished. We have a transcendent martial art? Why didn't we know? The fatty took out a book. This is the mortal level body fusion art, worthless by itself. But combined with the three families inherited spiritual level martial arts, it will merge into a transcendent art. After saying that, the fatty looked at the three family heads. Well, take out your inherited martial arts now. But Loy Van Thien sighed, third prince. I, Loy, could not keep our ancestral heritage. It was taken by someone from Wuming Valley. I beg the third prince's forgiveness. Immediately after, the head of the Thai family also bowed, 
mine was also lost, sir. Hearing this, the fatty angrily said, I've talked so much, and in the end, you say you've lost everything? How can you be family heads? Have you forgotten your ancestors' instructions? You must protect the inherited martial arts with your life. At this point, Tai Win asked softly, Third Prince, could you grant us another martial art? Hearing this silly question, the fatty exploded in anger. Do you think treasures are vegetables sold in the market? As many as you want? Then he grabbed Tai Win and scolded him with a few slaps. Are you a pig? Do you want to die? As the fatty was flustered, not knowing what to do, Track Fam smiled and took out two jade pieces. Third Prince, don't worry. I've retrieved the martial arts of our two families. Hearing this, everyone looked at him in astonishment. Tai Win was extremely surprised, never expecting that what Wu Ming Valley had taken, he could also take back. As for Loy Van Thien, he was very grateful to Track Fam. Without him, the Loy family would have faced great danger. Hearing Track Fam's words, the fatty joyfully ran over and hugged him. Manager Track, you're amazing. You deserve the Ninth Elder's attention. Without you, I couldn't have completed this mission. I owe you a great favor. Track Fam calmly said, I did this for the benefit of the Lac family. Seeing the three treasures were complete, the fatty smiled. The next step is to merge the three families. According to the Pearl Secret Order, when the seal is opened, the other two families will merge into the strongest one. The transcendent martial art will be held by the family head. Before he finished, Tai Win spoke up, Your Majesty. The Lac family now only has four people left, and the Loy family is shattered. Only the Tai family remains powerful. So I, your subject, will represent the three families and revive our family. From now on, I will lead the Loy and Lac to become descendants of the Tai family. He then reached for the two jade pieces on the table, but Loy Van Thien stopped him coldly. Tai Win, with your Duan Ju realm, you still want to be the family head? Don't dream. Tai Win was displeased. In terms of strength, our family is currently the strongest. Not necessarily, Loy Vu Bang stepped forward. Tai family head, in just one month. I've regathered the remnants of the Black Wind Mountain. At least 500 people, most of the Qi refining realm or higher. In terms of forces, I'm afraid your family can't match us. Hearing that, Tai Win laughed loudly. How powerful can they be? They're just a bunch of rogue cultivators. How can the Loy family, descended from bandits, sit in the main hall? If your family leads ours, we'll definitely be mocked by the seven noble families. How can we be their equals then? Seeing the two sides arguing endlessly while completely ignoring the Lac family, Lac Van Thuong was inwardly enraged. Just as she was about to explode, a shout came from beside her, silence. Only the Lac family deserves to lead the three families. Everyone looked at Lac Van Hai in surprise, for the boy now resembled someone else. Tai Hu Din spoke up, among the three, your family is the weakest. You can be ignored completely. What qualifications do you have to be the family head? But Lac Van Hai just smiled. It's true the Lac family is currently penniless and powerless. But we are the strongest of the three families because we have Track Fam, the Lac family's manager. Hearing this, Tai Win scoffed. A mere manager track, what is he compared to my numerous guards? Kid, the merger of three families is an adult matter. With your milk-smelling mouth, you shouldn't be rash. Before he finished, Track Fam suddenly slammed the table, and an alliance contract between the Lac family and Canlong sect appeared before everyone. Hearing this, the fatty was stunned. Even the calm Fuang Tu Bok was surprised. When did Canlong sect sign an equal alliance with anyone? He looked at Track Fam and asked, Young man, how did you get this? Track Fam smiled lightly, It's just heroes recognizing heroes. Then he turned to everyone and said solemnly, even without this meaningless title. Without the Pearl Secret Order to merge the three families, as long as I'm here, the Lac family joining the seven noble families is only a matter of time. To the Lac family, you are all burdens, completely useless. Hearing this, Lac Van Hai's eyes shone with emotion, while Lac Van Thuong blushed. After reading the contract, the fatty said to Track Fam, Manager Track, it's a waste for you to stay in this ordinary family. Why don't you consider helping me instead? Hearing this, Tai Win and his son immediately lost their composure. They didn't expect even the royal family to value Track Fam so highly. Loy Van Thien was also surprised that the fatty openly tried to poach someone from another family. He wanted to intervene, but Track Fam stopped him. Third Prince, you've gone too far. I stay with the Lac family only because of the royal family. Hearing the refusal, the fatty sighed, All right, if you don't want to, then fine. The decision is, the Lac family will be the leading family, while the Loy and Tai families will support the Lac family head in completing the Pearl Secret Order. At this, Tai Hu Din still couldn't accept it. Tai Hu Din wanted to dispute further, but as soon as he opened his mouth, the fatty coldly glanced at him. The royal majesty made father and son tremble, immediately saying, 
The Thai family will submit under the Lak family's banner. Seeing they had been disciplined, the fatty looked towards the Loy family. Loy Van Thien promptly said, Your Majesty, rest assured, I will definitely support Lak Van Thuong and Lak Van Hai well. Seeing this, the fatty returned to his usual foolish demeanor, all right, if the three families have no more objections, let's begin the merger. As everyone prepared to leave, the fatty suddenly remembered something and looked at Track Fam, manager Track, after those two leave, come to the small forest over there. Seeing Track Fam's confused look, the fatty abruptly said, later, just do whatever I say. Then he raised his hand to the sky and declared, I, Wu Wen Tong, third prince of the Celestial Feather Empire. Today become sworn brothers with Track Fam of the Lak family, to live and die together, with eternal loyalty. After speaking, he hurriedly pointed at Track Fam, your turn now, hurry up. Track Fam had a vague look, not understanding what was happening, but thinking it over, becoming sworn brothers with the prince shouldn't cause any harm, so he also pointed to the sky, declaring, I, Track Fam of the Lak family, today become sworn brothers with Wu Wen Tong, third prince of the Celestial Feather Empire. If you betray me, I will betray you too. Hearing Track Fam say this, the fatty was startled. The fatty said awkwardly, Brother, you're really cautious. I don't doubt you at all. It's just that the Jong who is dangerous, so I'm being careful. Anyway, now that we're sworn brothers, I feel more at ease. Track Fam had a puzzled look, not understanding his meaning. The fatty continued, Do you remember the bet from before? Whoever lost would give up pursuing Long Ku. But even though I lost, I couldn't let her go, so I decided to become sworn brothers with you. From now on, we're brothers. That way, Long Ku is your woman and I can freely give up pursuing her. Ha ha, what do you think? A brilliant idea, right? Hearing this, Track Fam smiled and said, There's nothing romantic between her and me. Hearing that, the fatty immediately revived, You mean it? Then I still have a chance to pursue her. Track Fam could only say, Go ahead bother her to death if you want. The fatty exclaimed happily, great, brother, you really are my brother. At this point, track fam suddenly asked, what is the real content of the pearl secret order? The unexpected question startled the fatty, but he laughed foolishly, I just told you. Track fam smiled and said, this plan is indeed ingenious, and its purpose is also righteous, but its ambition is too small, unworthy of being created by a founding emperor. Any founding emperor would have grand ambitions. To control the seven noble families, they would issue a thousand-year secret order. I can't believe it. But the fatty still feigned innocence, I'm not clear on that either. Anyway, the order I received was to complete this mission. Seeing he wasn't pretending, Track Fam thought maybe he really didn't know or was an excellent actor. With that in mind, he asked, if it's a thousand-year secret order, why does Yu Min Kok know about it? It seems they've always obstructed this and prevented anyone from suspecting. They must be afraid of the royal family investigating. The fatty also showed his lack of understanding, logically speaking, that shouldn't be possible. But there are many eyes and ears in the palace. Maybe the secret order was leaked. It remained hidden for a thousand years, only to be exposed now? The corner of Track Fam's mouth curved up as he said, or perhaps only a small part of the secret order's content was leaked outside. Hearing this, the fatty looked at Track Fam in disbelief and shock. But Track Fam changed his attitude. Never mind, as long as this benefits the Lack family, it's fine. I'll take my leave now. We'll meet again someday. After speaking, he turned and left. Watching Track Fam's figure, the fatty shivered and broke out in a cold sweat. This kid is way too smart, he's terrifying. Suddenly, a whirlwind appeared behind him, and Fuong Tu Bak emerged from it. He said, the more I look at this kid, the more he reminds me of someone. The fatty asked in surprise, Master, who does he remind you of? Fuong Tu Bak replied, Chu Kat Trong Fong. The fatty was stunned, Chu Kat Trong Fong? One of the four pillars? Master, you rate this kid so highly? Fuong Tu Bak nodded solemnly. Fuong Tu Bak said with deep meaning, Fatty, your decision to become sworn brothers with him today may be the most correct decision of your life. One day, he will become one of your four pillars, helping you rule the world. Elsewhere, a dark figure swiftly passed through the commoners' residential areas of the empire and landed before a small, dilapidated villa. It was Yu Van Sun, the head of Yu Min Kok. His failure in Fong Lam City enraged him, so he rushed here to interrogate the person in the villa. Because whether it was the Pearl Secret Order or the plan in Fong Lam, it was all based on information from Chu Kat Trong Fong. But now, after over 10 years of effort going to waste, in his furious rage, Yu Van Sun charged in to kill this useless man. But at that moment, two masked men blocked his path and with one move, made him vomit blood. Yu Van Sun recognized them as the famous Yin Yang elders of the Jonghu. 
Then Chu Kat Trong Fong calmly stood up, saying, the head of Yu Kok is indeed farsighted. These two elders haven't appeared for a hundred years, yet you still recognize them. Yu Van Sun couldn't help but be shocked. The number one genius Tian Wu, and the four pillars prime minister Chu Kat. Even these two monstrous elders answered your summons. I'm sure even Fuang Tu Bak can't do anything to you now. Chu Kat Trong Fong laughed heartily. The head of Yu Kok flatters me too much. I dare not accept the title of number one genius Tian Wu. Currently, I also dare not openly oppose the royal family. Hearing this, Yu Van Sun thought it was just humility. But there's a saying that excessive humility is arrogance. With your intelligence and abilities, who can be your match? But Chu Kat Trong Fong only sighed, Indeed, I failed in Fong Lam City. This world's strength cannot be judged by appearances, and I am not the number one genius Tian Wu. Yu Van Sun was surprised. If not you, then who else? Chu Kat Trong Fong pointed up, the one above me. Yu Van Sun asked uncertainly, You mean that foolish emperor? Chu Kat Trong Fong solemnly replied, Head of Yu Kok, in my 40 years as an official, I still cannot see through his majesty. If the emperor is foolish, then who in this world is wise? Then he suddenly said, Head of Yu Kok, you should leave. Do not cause any more trouble for the time being, or be careful of having your neck caught by that old man, you will never recover. Hearing this, Yu Van Sun was startled, and hastily bowed and left. After he was gone, Chu Kat Trong Fong gazed pensively at the sky, Your Majesty, what are your intentions? What is the Pearl Secret Order? Meanwhile, in the misty forest on Black Phoenix Mountain, Track Fam was now standing beside a blood pool. Fortunately, after three months, Track Fam had successfully nurtured the Handen Tree in the blood pool in the misty forest on Black Phoenix Mountain. Seeing the upgraded Handen Tree, a smile appeared on Track Fam's face. It's time to leave. There's a saying, heroes find it hard to pass the beauty trap, but beauties also find it hard to pass the hero trap. Currently, Lack Van Thuong's feelings for Track Fam are truly deep. Just hearing him call her name once makes her smile like spring has arrived, as if all things are reborn. To get to the main point, Track Fam called Lack Van Thuong into the room. Before she understood what was happening, he closed the door, covered the windows. Seeing this, Lack Van Thuong's face turned red. Could it be that time has come already? Isn't it too fast? However, the next moment, Track Fam had a serious expression and said he was about to leave. Hearing that, Lack Van Thuong immediately panicked. She didn't understand why he had to go. Track Fam explained it was to make the Lack family safer. Hearing this, Lack Van Thuong's heart pounded. She only heard Track Fam continue. The Lack family is safe now. But don't forget how we obtained this safety. By accepting the royal family's demand, by carrying out the unclear Pearl Secret Order, we angered the seven noble families. If we cannot be on par with the seven noble families, they will never let us or Gan Long Jok go. Lack Van Thuong said with teary eyes, If you leave, what should we do? Track Fam gently wiped away her tears. There's a saying that the root of a family lies in its strong members. This time going out, I will find enough strong people for the Lack family to ensure the Lack family's future safety. He then took out a jade token, handing it to her. This is the secret to controlling the four great formations around Black Phoenix Mountain. Only you can practice it, don't let others know. If I'm not here, if the Lack family has any trouble during that time, you can activate these great formations. The four level five formations plus the mist gate formation set up in the misty forest can ensure your safety for a short period. Lack Van Thuong was only concerned about how long you would be gone. But on this matter, even Track Fam wasn't clear. Alright, now go call Van Hai and Lao Bang in. Lack Van Thuong bit her lip tightly, suppressing the pain in her heart. She silently walked out. But halfway, she suddenly turned back. Hearing the sound, Track Fam turned around suspiciously. The next moment, he was unexpectedly attacked by Lack Van Thuong. I won't go into details here, as matters of romance are not the forte of a FA like me. After a while, the two separated. Lack Van Thuong's face was flushed as she threw out hurry back, before rushing out. Watching her figure leave, Track Fam's eyes were filled with tenderness and helplessness. The scene shifts. When Lack Van Hai learned that Track Fam was about to leave, he also felt surprised and reluctant. Track Fam stroked the boy's head affectionately. You are the only son of the Lack family. From now on, you must take care of your sister as the family master. You must also shoulder the responsibilities of the Lack lineage. Lack Van Hai held back his emotions and nodded firmly. Then Track Fam looked at Lao Bang. Do you remember what Long Ku said? She was right. With your aptitude, you can only reach the Qi condensation realm. Although Lao Bang understood his limitations, hearing this still surprised him. Suddenly, Track Fam said, but there are no absolutes in this world. Now I have a way to help you break through, to attain great power. 
Hearing this, Bang Thong was astonished. Track Fam continued, but the process will make you wish for death. A lifetime of suffering. Can you endure it? Moreover, once you start cultivating, you cannot stop, or your soul will dissipate, never to be reincarnated. However, after hearing all that, Bang Thong did not hesitate and immediately accepted the body protecting sword. But Bang Thong remained indifferent. The greatest suffering in my life was witnessing the master's death without being able to do anything. Now I only have one wish, to protect the young master and miss. Seeing Bang Thong's determination, Track Fam smiled and said, I hope the next time I return, I will see a Bang Thong with great power, rather than your corpse. Bang Thong also smiled kindly, rest assured, my life is not easy to end. After that, Track Fam called Loi Vu Bang and asked about the task he assigned. Loi Vu Bang replied, Track Win, I have found nearly 600 intelligent children aged 10 as you instructed, just waiting for you to come and teach them. Track Fam took out a jade double-bladed sword, saying, This is the high-level secret technique before the Lamkai formation. Take it and cultivate, then select trustworthy people to train as the Shadow Squad, to protect the family's secrets. Those 600 children, train them according to my methods. The weakest will join the regular guard squad, the average will join your Shadow Squad, and those with the strongest will, hand them over to Bang Thong. Tell him, he'll know what to do. Boy Vu Bang asked why Track Fam didn't do it himself. Track Fam then told her he was about to leave. Hearing this, Loi Vu Bang was also surprised and didn't understand, but after being explained, she comprehended Track Fam's intention and had to accept this harsh reality. Loi Vu Bang also secretly tackled Track Fam, just like Lak Van Thuong. Then she gazed at Track Fam affectionately, Track Win, I'll wait for you to return. Saying that, she ran out. Seeing the familiar scene, Track Fam was exhausted. Another one? Why do women all like this? After leaving the Lack family, Track Fam planned to go to the Wan Shou mountain range first, but to get there, he had to pass through Yu Min Kok City. All who wanted to enter the city would be thoroughly inspected, but for Track Fam, it was merely a formality. He just needed to kill two little guards and take their travel permit. Track Fam calmly entered the city. At that moment, a figure rushed past and bumped into him. It was a beggar boy. He begged Track Fam not to make a sound as a group was chasing him. Track Fam decided to stay silent as he didn't want trouble here. Only after they left, did the boy peek out. But Track Fam ignored him and kept walking. Seeing this, the beggar hurried to block him. Brother, thank you so much. But before he could finish, Track Fam brushed him off. However, the boy insisted on following him. You're from outside the city, right? Can you take me out? I beg you. You don't need any papers to leave the city. Seeing Track Fam's indifference, he began explaining his plight. I stole their stuff. If caught, they won't spare me. Please save me. But Track Fam had seen through his scheme. Track Fam smiled mockingly. Only 15 or 16 but already at the chi refining stage. At this age, you're no weakling. How could an ordinary commoner reach such a level? Are you really a beggar? Alright, even if what you say is true. What's in it for me to help you? It will only create enmity with the factions in the city. So I really don't see any reason to help you. Saying that, he turned and left the other person standing there stunned. At this point, he asked, You're planning to go to the Wan Shou Mountain Range, aren't you? Track Fam didn't turn back, saying loudly, Who comes here if not to go to Wan Shou Mountain or offer incense at Yumin Valley? The boy didn't expect him to dare insult Yumin like that, so he quickly said, If you're going to Wan Shou Mountain, you'll have to wait another three months, brother. Hearing this, Track Fam stopped and turned to look at him. Why? The boy explained, let me tell you. Soon, Diamond Lava will appear in Wan Shou Mountain. So for these three months, Yu Min Valley will seal off the mountain, not allowing anyone to enter. Hearing about Diamond Lava, Track Fam's eyes lit up. It's the lifeblood of the Great Earth, extremely rare and the material for forging top-tier weapons. More importantly, it's very compatible with his blood ape. If he uses the lava to refine his body, he won't fear encountering celestial realm experts anymore. At this point, the boy suggested, let's make a deal. If you get me out of the city, I'll lead you through a shortcut into Wan Shou Mountain. When the lava appears, we can steal some. Track Fam considered it and found it reasonable. Having a guide would make it easier to sneak in undetected, so he agreed to the boy's proposal. The boy was overjoyed, excellent. Finally, someone is getting me out of this hellish place. Brother, my name is Xiao Neng, what's yours? Track Fam smiled and said, I'm Track Fam. But before they could go far, a voice called out from behind, Ninger, enough fooling around, come back. A group of fierce looking people approached them. Seeing this, Xiao Ning quickly hid behind Track Fam. Track Win, save me. Seeing Track Fam had no intention of giving way, the leading young man said sternly, This is a Jia family matter. 
If you don't want trouble, please step aside. Hearing this, Track Fam said, The Jia family, aren't you one of the four major families leading Tanmin City? He didn't expect that beggar boy to be involved with the Jia family. But no matter, Track Fam hugged Xiao Ning tightly, and said firmly, From now on, he's my man. If you want to touch him, you'll have to go through me first. Seeing Track Fam dare to use such brazen tactics, the young man angrily shouted, before coming to Tan Men, Did you not research who the Jia family is? How dare you provoke us here? Track Fam sneered and said, I know. The Jia family is just Yu Min Valley's lapdog in Tan Min City. I'm going to Wan Shou Mountain. Why should I care about some dog? But before he could finish, Xiao Ning pushed him away. His face displeased. Don't talk about the Jia family like that. Track Fam was furious. I'm helping you, yet you're blaming me? Seeing this, the young man ordered his disciples to attack Track Fam. But in an instant, Track Fam defeated them all. Xiao Ning was astonished. I knew he was strong, but not this strong. Even the young man was surprised by the outcome. Indeed, you have some skills. No wonder you dare speak such provocative words. The young man named Jia Zhang stepped forward and challenged. Let me see if a master like you can defeat Jia Zhang. Track Fam asked, So you're the young master Jia Zhang of the Jia family? What of it? Jia Zhang boasted, Now you know to be afraid, don't you? But Track Fam only sneered, Not afraid, just troublesome. Since I've angered you all, I'll likely face endless trouble in Tan Men. Better to kill you all, so the survivors will keep their mouths shut, and my ears can have some peace. Saying that, he charged to attack. Jia Zhang didn't expect him to be so resolute and hastily used the profane martial art Phoenix Soaring Fist. But Track Fam easily neutralized it, then his innate blood ape strike pierced Jia Yang's body. Jia Zhang froze, unable to move. Track Fam seized that moment to strike, sending him flying. Only then did Jia Zhang truly realize his opponent's terrifying power. Track Fam slowly approached the young master. Rest assured, after you die, I'll send those servants of yours right after, leaving no living witnesses. I don't want the Jia family hunting me down everywhere. Saying that, he tightened his grip on Jia Yang's neck, lifting him up. Just need to get rid of him and it's done. As he was about to act, Xiao Ning shouted, telling him to stop. Track Fam turned back, surprised. What are you doing? Aren't they your enemies? But Xiao Ning said, even if they're enemies, I don't want to kill them. However, Track Fam didn't let go. Sorry, they're not just your enemies, but mine too. For my enemies, there's only one outcome, death. Seeing Jia Zhang about to die, Xiao Ning shouted loudly, If you don't let him go, I won't guide you anymore. Hearing this, Track Fam had to release Jia Zhang. Alright, if you don't care, I won't bother looking for trouble. Then putting his arm around Xiao Ning's shoulder, he advised, Be a good boy and guide me. Only then did Xiao Ning realize Track Fam wasn't a good person, but it was too late to back out now. Not long after the two left, the Jia family master arrived and saw Jia Zhang trembling. He quickly asked, Zhang Er, what's wrong with you? Who did this to you? But Jia Zhang didn't react. Seeing his son like this, the Jia family master's heart burned with rage. Normally Zhang Er is never timid, but rather very brave. For him to be so terrified in an instant, that person must be formidable. Whoever you are, daring to provoke the Jia family in Tan Men, you won't have a good ending. Meanwhile, Xiao Ning led Track Fam to the forest behind the mountain. Seeing him still crying, Track Fam was annoyed. Why are you so timid? It's just some enemies getting beaten, not your family. Why cry and tire yourself out? Soon they reached a cave entrance. Xiao Ning said from here they could ascend the mountain undetected. Track Fam found this place very secluded, hard to find without a local guide. But he remained cautious, telling Xiao Ning to go first while he followed behind. Just then, a voice called from behind, Xiao Ling, stop. It was the Jia family master approaching. Seeing he was a peak Duan Ju realm expert, Track Fam immediately became wary. Could you be Jia family master Jia Wanlong? Your eyes are truly sharp, kid. Were you the one who attacked my son Jia Zhang? No, Track Fam openly admitted, that's right. He wanted to take my man. I was being merciful by not taking his life. Your man? Hearing this, Jia Wanlong was stunned. Are you referring to Xiao Ling? Just then, his second son Jia Lin also rushed over. Without a word, he charged to grab Xiao Ning. Seeing this, Track Fam coldly stretched out his hand to grab his neck. Everything happened too fast for Jia Wanlong to react. He hurriedly roared, release him immediately, or I won't spare you. Track Fam scoffed, if I really let him go, I doubt you'd spare me, Jia family master. No matter what grievances Xiao Ling had with you, 
he's my man now. I just hope you can let this go. Otherwise, be prepared to collect your son's corpse. Saying that, he tightened his grip, making Jia Lin's eyes roll back. But Xiao Nain stopped him again. This infuriated track fam. Are you brain damaged? Why keep defending the enemy? Seeing this, Jia Wanlong sighed, Young man, what's your name? I'm alone, not afraid of your retaliation. You can tell me. My name is Track Fam. Seeing Track Fam's defiance, Jia Wanlong gritted his teeth. Fine, today you must protect Xiao Ling, right? Track Fam firmly stated, He's my man, of course I'll protect him to the end. Jia Wanlong said, then let's make a bet. Release my son first. If I can't defeat you in 10 moves, from now on I won't pursue the boy anymore. Hearing this, Track Fam agreed without hesitation, then tossed Jia Lin aside. Jia Wanlong was astonished. HMPH, you're not afraid I'll go back on my word? Track Fam stated firmly, even if I wanted to kill him, you couldn't stop me either. Hearing this, Jia Wanlong angrily said, you're so insolent, daring to speak such arrogant words. Saying that, he charged to attack, but unexpectedly, Track Fam also rushed towards him. Jia Wanlong was stunned, he's not dodging but charging up, this is wrong. While pondering, Track Fam suddenly summoned the evil treasure heaven in Moon Wheel. Seeing his opponent had a third grade evil treasure, Jia Wanlong hastily retreated, narrowly avoiding the fatal stab. But before he could catch his breath, Track Fam summoned his innate blood saber, spinning and slashing towards him. In the dire situation, a dazzling golden light burst around Jia Wanlong, repelling the innate blood saber. Track Fam's heaven and moon wheel only left a cut on his face. Looking closely, Track Fam realized Jia Wanlong was wearing a second grade defensive magic treasure armor. It seemed the blood saber was now useless. The battle could only rely on the heaven and moon wheel. While Track Fam was surprised, Jia Wanlong was horrified. He never expected a Qi Refining Realm Junior to have such terrifying combat power. If not for his inherited ancestral armor, he would have died long ago. Seeing Track Fam eye him like prey, Jia Wanlong suddenly felt uneasy. Damn it, is this kid a monster? Even as a peak Duan Gu realm expert, being threatened by a Qi refining junior today was embarrassing. Thinking this, he decided to strike first to intimidate his opponent. Before Jia Wanlong could act, Track Fam struck first. Jia Wanlong was startled, hastily retreating to avoid the blow. At this moment, his mind was in chaos. Who's the strong one here? But Jia Lin shouted loudly, Father, you said you'd give him 10 moves, not take 10 moves from him. Jia Wanlong was furious, wanting to behead this unfilial son. You little bastard. Shut up, no one thinks you're deaf and mute. Meanwhile, Track Fam attacked again, suddenly splitting into three shadows, rushing towards Jia Wanlong. This scene left Jia Wanlong stunned. He can do that? Seeing the three shadows charging, he stomped hard. A small mountain burst up, blasting the three shadows away. But immediately after, those three shadows disappeared like illusions. Jia Wanlong sensed something was wrong, but too late. Track Fam had appeared behind him, exploiting the opening to slash down. Although not killing his opponent, the strike cut off some of Jia Wanlong's hair making him break out in a cold sweat. At this point, he had completely lost the will to fight. I, I lose. Seeing his father lose to track fam, Jia Lin was utterly shocked. Father must have held back, that's why he spared his life. Track fam smiled, indeed, the Jia family master didn't use his full power. Each of his moves was just a probe, without intent to kill me. Hearing track fam say this, Jia Lin became more confident. See, if my father hadn't held back, he would have killed you long ago. But Track Fam just sighed, Young Master Jia, why didn't you use your full power? At this moment, Jia Wanlong looked at Track Fam and said seriously, Track Fam, you are the most trustworthy young man I've ever met. From now on, I entrust Xiao Ling to you. Don't let me down. Hearing this, Track Fam was dazed. What did he mean? Jia Wanlong stepped forward and hugged Xiao Ling tightly. Xiao Ling, go, don't come back. Live the life you want. Seeing Xiao Ling cry and call out father, Track Fam was stunned. Father, does old Jia have a third son? Wait, she is Jia Lingshang, the third daughter of the Jia family, right? Jia Wanlong smiled. You just realized? I thought you were smart. Anyway, you said she's your woman now, so I'm entrusting her to you. 
If I find out you mistreat Ling Shang in the future, I'll definitely take revenge. Track fam was completely confused. What the hell is this? So from the start, I was attacking the wrong person? No wonder every time I helped her, she looked at me with hateful eyes. Jia Wanlong smiled and led Jia Lin away. When father and son disappeared, Track fam felt even angrier. He rushed over and snatched off Jia Lingshan's hat. Miss Jia, what play are you acting in? I mistakenly attacked the Jia family dozens of times, thinking I was defending you, but it turned out to be completely wrong. Jia Lingshan smiled shyly. Brother Track, don't be angry. I just wanted to leave the city. Now that you want to go to Beast Mountain, each of us has achieved our goal. You haven't lost anything. Hearing this, Track Fam also understood. That's right, as long as the goal is achieved, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they are from the same family or not. Why should I be angry that she deceived me? Suddenly, Track Fam realized that at some point, he had become more emotional, caring more about those around him. Is this still like a devil cultivator? Thinking this, he angrily tried to make himself cold again. You go ahead first. When I'm done at Beast Mountain, I'll take you out. That will complete our deal. Track Fam and Jia Lingshan went through the tunnel and finally entered Beast Mountain. But after crawling underground for so long, they were both covered in mud. They found a nearby river to bathe. Unexpectedly, as soon as they arrived, Track Fam stripped naked and jumped into the river. This action left Jia Lingshan extremely flustered. She quickly turned away and scolded him for being shameless. But Track Fam didn't care saying if a devil cultivator still had to save face, how would the righteous path cultivators live? Soon after, Track Fam finished bathing and prepared to continue on, but Jia Lingshan still stood motionless. He asked in surprise, what's wrong? Lead the way. Jia Lingshan's face flushed as she said, I, I haven't bathed yet. Seeing her embarrassment, Track Fam couldn't help but laugh. Jia Lingshan realized that he was deliberately teasing her. She angrily went to bathe, but with this shameless guy, she felt uneasy. Jia Lingshan immediately warned Track Fam not to peep. Track Fam disdainfully said, an unripe fruit, I don't want to eat it. Unripe? Jia Lingshan unconsciously glanced down at herself, but she was still indignant, raising her head high. I'm not unripe. After a while, as Track Fam was about to doze off, Jia Lingshan finally finished bathing. Oh, you're finally done. Can we go now? Track Fam turned to look, intending to say, well then, lead the way. But seeing Jia Lingshan's revealing attire, his eyes lit up, forgetting what he wanted to say. Until Jia Lingshan coughed softly, he came back to his senses. Track Fam said embarrassedly, Ah, Miss Jia, please lead the way. After saying that, he felt he was too shameless himself. Seeing a beautiful woman immediately changed how he addressed her. When did he become so undignified? However, he had to admit it was quite pleasant traveling with a beauty. Not long after, under Jia Lingshan's guidance, they arrived at a rock wall. Looking around, Track Fam was puzzled. Theoretically, when the Liusa appears, there should be many people guarding, right? Why is there no one here? Hearing this, Jia Lingshan said smugly, Brother Track, I thought you were very smart. Why are you being so dull now? If we went straight there, we would definitely be discovered. That's why I brought you here. Look, this is where the Liusa will appear. But when they arrived, they saw that the people from Yu Min Kok were already guarding there led by the seventh elder stationed in the eastern city. His martial arts skills were extremely profound. Even observing from afar, Track Fam and Jia Lingshan were almost discovered. Fortunately, Track Fam reacted quickly, pulling her down to hide. Thanks to that, their position wasn't revealed. But with the old man guarding there, stealing the Liusa was impossible. Track Fam pondered and decided to use a scheme. He pulled Jia Lingshan away. She asked in surprise, what's wrong? Do you have a plan? Track Fam smiled mysteriously. Let me get you a little pet. On the other hand, when Jia Wanlong and Jia Lin returned, the Jia family patriarch immediately asked them about the situation. Have you found my daughter Wang Ni? And the one who attacked Jia Zhang, have you dealt with him? Father, I let them go. That young man is quite trustworthy. So I entrusted our daughter to him. As for attacking Jia Zhang, ignorance is no crime. As long as he treats Wang Ni well in the future, I won't care about it anymore. Hearing this, the Jia family patriarch was extremely surprised. He didn't expect his granddaughter to run away with her lover. He angrily slammed the table, you've gone mad. Whether he attacked Jia Zhang or not doesn't really affect our Jia family much. But Xiao Ling absolutely cannot go with him. Do you know how dangerous it will be for our Jia family if Xiao Ling goes missing? But Jia Wanlong insisted, Father, I have already let Xiao Ling go. Whatever happens, I will take responsibility. You'll take responsibility? For the safety of our entire family, can you handle that? The patriarch sighed, Wanlong, 
I know you love your niece, but do I love her any less than you? However, for the sake of the Jia family, he then asked directly, where did they go? Jia Wanlong had to say they were at Beast Mountain. Hearing this, the Jia family patriarch rushed to Beast Mountain. Meanwhile, Track Fam's group, unaware of anything, was still digging holes in the mountain. Soon after, he found a sweet potato. Jia Lingshang asked in surprise, what are you digging this for? Track Fam explained, this is the favorite food of the level 1 spirit beast, the mole rat. Hearing this, Jia Lingshan understood. Track Fam planned to use the mole rat to dig a tunnel to steal the Liusa. Although the mole rat is only a level 1 spirit beast with no combat power, even righteous cultivators can easily defeat it. Its tunneling ability is unparalleled. In just half an hour, a tiny mole rat can dig through a mountain range thousands of miles long. However, Track Fam just smiled mysteriously, haha, we'll see about that. Seeing this, Jia Lingshang wondered what he was plotting. He took the mole rat's favorite food and lay in ambush waiting for it. Sure enough, soon after the animal smelled the scent, it came running automatically. Track Fam and Jia Lingshang immediately dashed out from the bushes, swiftly capturing it. Hee hee, you want to run away, little guy? But Jia Lingshang hugged the mole rat tightly, scolding, why are you so cruel? How could you harm it? Track Fam scoffed, spirit beasts aren't that easy to hurt. Now we're in a hurry. If we don't tame it in time, it won't be good. But Jia Lingshang insisted, I've raised spirit beasts before. They obey without needing to be tamed. Seeing someone protecting it, the mole rat became provocative. Track Fam couldn't hold back his anger, almost suffocating it. Suddenly, he thought of a clever scheme. Seeing Track Fam's vicious look, Jia Lingshang became wary, wondering what he was up to. Track Fam took out a blood silkworm, saying, don't worry, I won't harm it. I just wanted to eat this. Right now, the sooner we tame it, the better. There are only two ways. Either I train it all day, or we let it eat this. Jia Lingshang looked at the little mole rat. My friend, it's better to eat this, though disgusting, than to be captured by this guy. Just as Track Fam was about to feed the mole rat the blood silkworm, a sword aura struck towards them. Track Fam quickly pushed Jia Lingshan away, luckily avoiding the lethal strike. But the mole rat managed to escape. Following the direction of the sword aura, he saw the animal hiding behind a young man. That person shouted, how dare you touch my spirit beast. Track Fam was slightly surprised, not expecting the mole rat to have an owner. Jia Lingshan hurriedly tried to apologize, but Track Fam remained defiant. Whether it has an owner or not, we'll take it today. Hearing this, the young man scoffed, you have a big mouth. Two puny cultivators dared to covet my pet? Very well, today I'll teach you a lesson. But before he could finish, Track Fam had already charged to attack. The young man was startled, not expecting his opponent to be so decisive. Nevertheless, he didn't panic, drawing his sword to block. The two clashed violently, but Track Fam realized his opponent not only used profound martial arts, his inner force had also reached the bone reinforcement level. The young man's sword was also a top grade weapon. Track Fam deduced he must be a core disciple or heir of one of the seven noble families. This incident would definitely cause trouble later. Track Fam became more determined to kill his opponent, but the young man was completely dazed. He currently had the absolute upper hand, and his opponent showed the intent to kill him. Track Fam used his illusion technique again, creating multiple clones of himself. But the young man remained calm, saying, so this is your killing technique? He swiftly swung his sword, destroying all the clones. But unexpectedly, the real Track Fam had sneaked behind him. The young man hurriedly stabbed his sword backward, but he had underestimated Track Fam's determination to kill. Even if injured, Track Fam would still kill his opponent. However, the young man wore a protective armor. Track Fam's heaven and moon ring couldn't harm him while the young man's sword thrust towards him. Track Fam hurriedly retracted his saber to block, but with a loud bang, the heaven and moon rain shattered, and the impact force sent him flying back. Looking at the young man, Track Fam felt troubled. He didn't expect his opponent to be so wealthy, possessing not only a treasured weapon but also a protective armor. More importantly, despite knowing Track Fam's superior martial arts, he still fought with full power leaving few openings to exploit. While Track Fam was at a loss, the young man was utterly shocked. He was the number one genius, never defeated when drawing his sword. But today, despite his full effort, he almost fell victim to a fatal blow from a mere chi condensation cultivator. Then he asked, Brother, what's your name? Seeing his opponent had no more intention to fight, Track Fam said directly, My name is Track Fam. Very well, I'll remember you. 
We'll meet again if there's a chance. After saying that, the young man turned to leave, but Track Fam called out, Wait, brother, did you also come here for the diamond dew? Hearing this, the young man turned back cautiously, What if I did? Track Fam said, If not, then farewell. Hope we meet again. But if so, I think we could cooperate. The young man also showed interest, asking, how do you propose we cooperate? Even if the three of us join forces, it would be difficult to seize any diamond dew. Track fam pointed at the mole rat on his shoulder, but with this little guy. Are you suggesting we confront them directly? The young man nodded, it seems we had the same idea. I didn't expect you were also looking for this creature, but the mole rat is mine. What do you have to offer for cooperation? Track fam smiled. I don't know how you plan to use the mole rat to obtain the diamond dew. However, this time the young man didn't answer directly but asked back, what about you? At this, Jia Lingshang confidently said, let the mole rat dig a tunnel. Then when they're scooping up the diamond dew, we'll see some. Hearing her naive words, both men stared at her silently. Finally, the young man couldn't help but say, Miss, the enemy has celestial being experts. We'd be captured before doing anything. Seeing this, Track Fam looked at him with interest. At least my silly junior sister proposed a plan. What about you? The young man explained, My plan is very simple. The diamond dew is compressed underground and flows out through streams. I'll have the mole rat dig a side stream so a portion of the diamond dew will flow into it. Hearing this, Jia Lingshang's eyes lit up, brilliant, but Track Fam shook his head regretfully. That way, we'd only get a small amount. I want to take everything, not leaving a single drop for the Yuming Valley. What do you think? Shall we split it evenly? The young man was astonished, that's impossible. Making the impossible possible is my ability. Seeing Track Fam's confidence and recalling his strength, the young man decided to trust him, then I'll follow your plan. Track fam said, from now on, we'll cooperate. May I ask your courtesy name? The young man frankly replied, TSA Thindang. Hearing the name, Track fam asked, could you be from the Sword Marquis Manor, one of the seven noble families? Upon Track fam mentioning the seven noble families, Jia Lingshang was utterly surprised. The Jia family was just an ordinary clan under the seven noble families. Apart from the Yuming Valley, she had never encountered anyone from the seven noble families. This was the first time she witnessed an existence with a reputation rivaling the Yuming Valley. She suddenly asked Track Fam, Brother Track, with your formidable strength, which family are you from? TSA Thindang was also curious about the origins of this monstrous talent whose abilities matched his own. Track Fam only smiled and said, my origins are not that noble. I'm just a small steward of the Lack family in Fengling City. Hearing this, the two were astonished. The Lack family has a track steward? What family is the Lack family? I've never heard of it. Track fam explained, the Lack family is just an obscure family. Currently ranked as third rate. You two probably don't know them. However, the two clearly didn't believe Track Fam's words. How could such a small family have such a formidable expert? Nevertheless, TSA Thindang extended his hand, if your family is truly small, and you don't mind, you could join our sword Marquis Manor. But Track Fam declined, apologies. I've already formed an alliance with the Dragon Sect. If the sword Marquis Manor wants to ally with us, I welcome it. Hearing this, the two were stunned. TSA Thindang didn't expect the Dragon Sect had allied with him, but this made him even more doubtful of Track Fam's words. However, since the other party had revealed it, he couldn't do anything about it. Never mind, let's focus on the important matter first. Track Fam took out paper and pen drawing a strange diagram. TSA Thindang was astonished to recognize it as a feng shui map, though he had never seen such a complex structure before. But seeing Track Fam's composure, he became more convinced of his suspicion. You're indeed from one of the seven noble families. No, you're from the royal family. With Track Fam's extraordinary abilities, TSA Thindang mistook him for being from the royal family. No matter how Track Fam explained, he just nodded, I understand, if you don't want to say, then forget it. Track Fam sighed, never mind, no point wasting time with them. Let's focus on the more important matter. He said, the Beast Mountain has three areas. Area 1 is confirmed safe. It only has level 1, 2 spiritual beasts and the Jade Light Lake. Area 2 is called the Hunting Ground, where level 3 and 4 spiritual beasts appear. Without the Bone Severing Realm, going there is suicide. Area 3 is called the Danger Zone, where level 5 and above monsters live. Even divine illumination experts risk death there. Track Fam led the two to the area. TSA Thindang looked around. This is the border of Area 2. Even celestial being experts dare not wander here. 
I don't understand why Track Fam brought us to such a dangerous place. Track Fam instructed, have the mole rat dig from here to the Jade Light Lake, and set up formations at the marked positions on this map. TSA Thindang was astonished, to set up spirit stones and formations there. We need at least 1,000 stones. Track Fam said, precisely 3,221 stones. Moreover, with the mole rat's small size, it can only carry one stone at a time, meaning it has to make 3,221 trips to set up the formation around the Jade Light Lake. Upon hearing this, the mole rat fainted. Jia Lingshang disagreed. You want to work it to death? Track Fam ignored her and continued to TSA Thindang. We don't have much time left. The Diamond Dew could erupt at any moment. We must make it work faster. However, TSA Thindang seemed hesitant. Must we do this? Track Fam persuaded. It's just a mole rat. We can get as many as we want later. But what about the Diamond Dew? You understand, don't you? Hearing this, TSA Thindang made up his mind. It's just a level 1 spiritual beast. At worst, we'll treat it with spirit pills. Thus, the two agreed on the course of action. It was truly pitiful for the mole rat, utterly unfortunate. After three days and nights under their supervision, the mole rat finally finished setting up all the spirit stones, but was left with only half its life. Seeing this, Jia Lingshang reproached the two for being too excessive, exhausting it to such a state. Track Fam ignored her foolish actions. He raised his hands, chanting an incantation, and immediately the ground shook violently an invisible force emanating from Track Fam outwards. At the same time, the seventh elder of the Yuming Valley had an ominous feeling, but didn't know the cause. Seeing everything was ready, Track Fam smiled, when the Diamond Dew appears. The celestial being elders will definitely be extremely surprised. They plan to brazenly steal the Diamond Dew in broad daylight right in front of Yuming Valley. Although I've set up a great formation, the enemy has celestial selection experts. Success won't be easy. TSA Thindang felt a bit nervous. It's like taking an entrance exam to a university. But Jia Lingshan seemed to have forgotten about the Diamond Dew, only caring about the Mole Rat. Meanwhile, at this critical moment, Track Fam remained calm, cultivating, even breaking through. TSA Thindang exclaimed, incomparable. Suddenly, the ground shook violently. The three were startled. The Diamond Dew is about to erupt. At the same time, the seventh elder of Yuming Valley eagerly awaited, having waited two months for the Diamond Dew. Finally, it arrived. He immediately ordered the golden silk nets to be prepared to scoop it up. Meanwhile in Area 2, Track Fam also threw a net into the water. Seeing this, TSA Thindang was puzzled. But the Diamond Dew isn't here. How can you scoop it up? Track Fam smiled mysteriously. Look. He clapped his hands and chanted an incantation. Seconds later, hundreds of light pillars shot up from the ground. The seventh elder had an ominous feeling. He looked down at the river, surprised to see the water still flowing normally. With no signs of the diamond dew appearing, he immediately realized someone must be sabotaging from behind. He surveyed the surroundings and noticed the abnormality. The elder leapt down and rushed over. Meanwhile, Track Fam was delighted as the diamond dew gushed out. Seeing this, TSA Thindang praised, Track Brother, you're truly amazing. How did the Diamond Dew suddenly erupt here? Track Fam explained, this is the reversion of primordial chaos formation. Although only level 1, it can reverse the primordial chaos. Shift mountains and rivers. I simply diverted the flow of the Diamond Dew towards the Jade Light Lake here. Hearing this, TSA Thindang was stunned. You can even reverse primordial chaos, shift mountains and rivers? Knowing this is a technique only achievable by level 6 formations and above, yet Track Brother deployed a level 6 formation. The more I understand, the more confused I am about you. Who are you in the end? TSA Thindang extended another invitation. Brother, would you like to join my sword manor? Track Fam coldly declined. Forget it. Celestial clans have also proposed this to me before, but I rejected. That's why they shifted to an alliance with me. Jia Lingshang thought he was lying, but TSA Thindang agreed readily. I'll send the alliance agreement to you. But where should I send it? Track Fam said, send it to Fenglin City, Luo family. I'll return after finishing here. But TSA Thindang was still unsure. The TSA family will only ally with you, track brother. If you're not in Luo family later, the TSA family will suffer a great loss. Hearing this, Jia Lingshang's eyes widened in astonishment. The TSA family is one of the seven noble families, yet they're so casual about allying with an outsider? But it's a personal alliance, not a family one. Not long after, seeing the Diamond Dew almost depleted, Track Fam urged, quick, retrieve it. But TSA Thindang remained calm, what's the rush? The golden silk net is as hard as diamond. Even if we wait for the lava to cool, we can still scoop up the Diamond Dew. Track Fam glanced at him, 
I know you're not that foolish. I'm afraid by then, we'll lose our lives instead of enjoying the rewards. You think you mean Valley is blind? Didn't you see those huge pillars of light? Their experts will be here soon. Hearing this, TSA Thindang was no longer nonchalant. He hurriedly retrieved the net. Being caught by celestial being experts would be no joke. He asked anxiously, what's our next move? Track fam pointed towards the Rocky Mountains, over there. The two thought he meant Area 2 and were delighted. It'll be hard to be found there. But Track fam said they would go to Area 3. Hearing this, they were stunned, thinking he was crazy. With their cultivation, going to Area 3 would be suicide. But they didn't know. Track fam's true purpose for coming to Beast Mountain was to find the extremely ferocious level 6 spiritual beast in Area 3. But for now, the urgent matter was dividing the Diamond Dew first. Hearing about dividing the spoils, the two forgot their previous tension only eagerly awaiting the result. Seeing the huge barrel of diamond dew, TSA Thindang was overjoyed, never expecting to harvest so much. Track fam looked at him with disdain, thinking, just a member of the seven noble families, yet you've never seen the world. He took a portion of the diamond dew and put it in his bag, then said, according to our agreement, the rest is yours. TSA Thindang smiled casually, it's fine if you take more. After finishing the matter, he worried about escaping. Track fam smiled mysteriously, taking out a very simple pill. Eat this. It's a cheat concealing pill that can hide our aura for a day. That way, when passing through areas 2 and 3, as long as we don't encounter spiritual beasts, we won't be detected. Hearing the explanation, TSA Thindang was extremely curious about the origin of this pill. Track fam calmly said, I refined it myself. One of a kind. TSA Thindang stammered, you also know pill refinement? At this point, he completely lost his composure. Not only did Track Fam have the cultivation of Duan Jia realm, but he also understood Feng Shui. Pill refinement and formation setting, unmatched by anyone. The pills he refined far surpassed existing ones. Then what's the point of geniuses from the TSA family living? He was originally the top disciple of the Sword Manor, but now completely overshadowed by this nameless person. From now on, I won't call myself a genius anymore. At least with Track Fam around, I dare not claim to be a genius. Thinking this, TSA Thindang decided to ignore Track Fam from then on. Turning to leave, seeing his unusual silence, Track Fam found it strange, completely unaware that his excessive excellence had nearly driven this genius to despair. Not long after the three left, the seventh elder of Yuming Valley gave chase. Seeing the hole in the river, the elder immediately realized someone had taken the diamond dew. He was furious, his veins bulging, but tried to remain calm. Thinking they couldn't have gone far after just obtaining the diamond dew, he surveyed the surroundings. If still in area 1, it would be a dead end, so they must have gone to area 2 or 3. Thinking this, the elder dashed straight to area 3. Meanwhile, track fam noticed the birds flying in disarray realizing they were about to be exposed. That elder is chasing us. TSA Thindang panicked. What do we do now? With his speed, he'll catch up soon. At this point, Track Fam was also out of ideas. His initial plan was to create some distance. With normal thinking, after finding the hole, the opponent would first search Area 1 to be cautious. They wouldn't expect them to immediately rush into Area 3. By the time they reacted, they would be deep inside Area 3. At that point, the pursuer wouldn't dare venture further for fear of ferocious beasts. But Track Fam didn't expect the Elder to be so quick-witted. Directly charging into Area 3. Now TSA Thindang asked, Track Brother. Track Fam asked back, What is it? I only know there's an Elder Chu Zhou from Yuming Valley here but I'm not clear if he has any special abilities. TSA Thindang explained, Knowing yourself and your enemy, you'll win a hundred battles out of a hundred. You don't even know how formidable the seventh elder is. Of course, I misjudged him, Track Fam said, slightly surprised. Formidable? TSA Thindang continued, because he's the most cunning and treacherous elder in Yuming Valley. One could say he's all about schemes and plots, but today, he's met his match. TSA Thindang explained that due to his revered position in Yuming Valley, his opinion was sought on many major matters. Because of his cunning and viciousness, everyone called him the Demonic Valley 7th. Even many elders had fallen victim to his schemes, especially Long Ju of the Dragon Pavilion, whose thunderbolt eyes were destroyed by the Demonic Valley 7th's plot. Thus, in the seven noble families, many hated him, but even more feared him. Hearing this, Track Fam finally understood why he had misjudged. The opponent was of the same kind as himself. Those rudimentary schemes were indeed insufficient, but since it had come to this, they could only adapt. At this point, TSA Thindang suggested, Track Brother, the only way is to abandon Miss Gia. With our speed, we might still escape the Demonic Valley's clutches. 
Hearing this, Jia Linghuang was terrified, quickly grasping Track Fam's hand. Track brother, you promised to take me out of the city. But Track Fam remained silent. TSA Thindang continued persuading. Track brother, now is not the time to uphold righteousness. Abandon Miss Jia, he will focus on her. Then we'll have a chance to escape. But Track Fam asked back. TSA Thindang, if not for my cheek concealing pill, could we have escaped? TSA Thindang was stunned. He didn't expect Track Fam to see through his thoughts. Track Fam said arrogantly, I won't abandon anyone. As for that elder, I'll set up a great formation here and fight him to the death. Hearing this, TSA Thindang's eyes widened in shock. He didn't expect Track Fam to have such a crazy intention, but considering Track Fam's strange abilities, he finally decided to stay with Track Fam and take the risk. On the other hand, the demonic Valley 7th was chasing at full speed. With his celestial abilities, he rushed through the mountains and forests, quickly closing in on the three. At this point, he noticed fallen leaves on the path picked one up to examine it, and sneered, three little rabbits, not running anymore, want me to drag you out myself, just then, track fam's laughter rang out, befitting the seventh elder of the demonic valley, just looking at the footprints, you know how many of us there are, impressive, the demonic valley seventh laughed in response, little brat, you just broke through to the su chi sixth realm, didn't you, hearing this, track fam was startled, the elder was more perceptive than he thought, truly a formidable opponent, he transmitted his voice to the demonic Demonic Valley 7, you're chasing us just for the diamond do, right? Tired of chasing already? If we cause a ruckus here, it will attract level 4 spiritual beasts, troublesome for you too. How about we return part of the diamond do, and you let us go? What do you say? Hearing this, the Demonic Valley 7 laughed angrily. The diamond do is mine. You stole it, and now you want to return part of it? Dream on. He then struck towards Track Fam. Show yourself quickly. A loud explosion rang out, flattening the entire area. Track Fam's figure appeared before the Demonic Valley 7. The elder coldly said, Today, I'll not only take back the Diamond Dew but also your lives. Track Fam grinned, Bring it on. The Demonic Valley 7 had never seen such an insolent youth, facing an expert far superior by two great realms, yet daring to threaten to kill him. The elder was so angry he wanted to teach Track Fam a lesson. But at that moment, Track Fam chanted a hand seal, and a fiery phoenix suddenly burst out from behind him. Firing a fireball towards the demonic Valley 7, caught off guard, the elder couldn't react in time, and was blasted back. He didn't expect his opponent at the Su Chi realm to already be a spell master, but with such low abilities, it was still not enough to defeat him. The demonic Valley 7 took a deep breath, condensing his spiritual energy into a humanoid monster, then ordered it to attack Track Fam. Seeing this, Track Fam controlled the Phoenix to fight back, and the two sides clashed fiercely. Suddenly, Track Fam shouted loudly, Jia Linghuang, attack. Not far away, Jia Linghuang heard this and activated her formation. The power of the fireball surged. Seeing his side was at a disadvantage, the demonic Valley 7 was dazed. He didn't know formations could have such support. But before he could react, Track Fam shouted loudly, TSA Thindang, your turn. The demonic Valley 7 had a bad premonition. Sure enough, TSA Thindang suddenly appeared behind him, his hands quickly chanting a seal. Thunder formation appearing under his feet, followed by lightning bolts firing from his palms. The three formations combined, their power reaching its peak. In the blink of an eye, the humanoid monster had turned to ashes. But the phoenix continued charging towards the demonic Valley 7. If this hit landed, even a celestial profound realm expert would only die on the spot. But at that moment, the demonic Valley 7 took out his prized treasure, instantly defeating the phoenix. Track Fam looked closely, it was a 5th grade demonic treasure. He didn't expect this old man to be so resourceful. The demonic Valley 7 said in a deep voice, I didn't expect that after years of battle, today I'd be pushed into such a predicament by three broths. I acknowledge your strength, but if we keep fighting, there will be no victor, only injuries on both sides. He put away his treasure, then began crossing his arms, so I'll still follow your words. You give me a portion of the diamond dew, and I won't pursue this any further. TSA Thindang and Jia Linghuang remained silent. Everyone looked at Track Fam, waiting for his final decision. Track Fam smiled harmlessly. All right, let's make peace. The demonic Valley 7, who had terrified many elders of the Umin sect, was actually making peace with Track Fam. He said as long as he got a portion of the Diamond Dew, he wouldn't pursue the previous matter. Meanwhile, Track Fam, who was always merciless in revenge, also agreed to this rare reconciliation. But were things really that simple? Just as the two sides moved closer, they suddenly attacked each other viciously. 
the demonic Valley 7 summoned his demonic treasure again, while Track Fam simultaneously activated his formation. TSA Thindang and Jia Linghuang immediately joined in to support. The three formations combined, their power reaching its peak. Even with a fifth grade demonic treasure, the demonic Valley 7 couldn't escape death. He angrily roared, Little brat, I was a fool to believe you. Track fam sneered, we're all of the same kind, we should be wary of each other. Hearing this dialogue, TSA Thindang felt very upset. Both sides were too cunning, not sincere at all. But luckily, their side was even more vicious. Meanwhile, the demonic Valley 7 gritted his teeth in anger. He didn't expect Track fam to be more devious than himself. Moreover, he couldn't do anything to them now. In his predicament, he suddenly noticed Jia Linghuang. Immediately, he found the weak point of the enemy. He looked at Jia Linghuang. You're the third young lady of the Jia family, aren't you? I didn't expect you to have grown into a young lady. Jia Linghuang was startled, not expecting her identity to be exposed. This would definitely cause trouble for her family. Seeing this, Track Fam worried, enough. Don't threaten the girl. But the demonic Valley 7 ignored him, continuing, the Jia family relies on the Umin sect. Your actions today will bring ruin to your entire family. Hearing this, Jia Linghuang froze, standing motionless. Seizing the opportunity, the demonic Valley 7 immediately attacked. Track Fam urgently shouted for the two to fight back. But Jia Linghuang now hesitated, fearing her actions would bring disaster to her family, so she didn't dare assist anymore. Without her help, the battle tilted heavily in the demonic Valley 7's favor. Seeing this, Track Fam knew he had fallen into the old man's trap. He shouted to Jia Linghuang, Linghuang, don't listen to that old man. Now that he's recognized you, he'll destroy your entire family when you return home. The only way to save the Jia family is to kill him right here. Moreover, this Thunder Lightning Wind Tri-Element Formation is our combined weapon. If we join forces, even a Celestial Profound Realm Expert cannot escape. Hearing he could wipe out her family, Jia Linghuang raged, I cannot let him leave here alive, he must die. An unprecedented emotion surged through her body, her power continuously rising. Seeing this, the demonic Valley 7 was dumbfounded. She hasn't used her full strength until now? When Jia Linghuang went berserk, Track Fam and TSA Thindang glanced at each other and smiled, then both activated their formations. Seeing his plan foiled, the demonic Valley 7 raged furiously but could only fight desperately. But against the three powerful formations, he was completely helpless. Moreover, due to Jia Linghuang's loss of control, the power of the formation multiplied tremendously. How terrifying it is when a woman goes berserk. Jia Linghuang, usually gentle, completely lost control upon hearing the Umin sect would destroy her family. Thanks to her surging power, the thunder lightning raging fire formation became exponentially more formidable. One strike sent the demonic Valley 7th flying, leaving him unable to react. Another would surely kill him. Unexpectedly, a woman's frenzy caused the entire formation's power to soar like this. Meanwhile, Track Fam, seeing the old man was nearly finished, ordered another attack. But Jia Linghuang had completely lost control, unable to follow his command. Before he could prepare, she launched an attack on her own. However, with just the wind formation alone, she couldn't harm the enemy. Seizing the chance, the demonic Valley 7 immediately charged and grabbed Jia Linghuang's neck. Crazy woman, you almost killed me. If you have any selfishness left. Seeing this, Track Fam and the other quickly activated their formations to block him. But without the wind formation, they were no match for the demonic Valley 7. Seeing this, Track Fam and the other grew anxious but dared not act rashly while the enemy held Jia Linghuang hostage. However, Jia Linghuang told them not to worry about her as long as they prevented the Demonic Valley 7 from returning to harm her family. The Demonic Valley 7 scoffed, such a filial little girl, but sadly, you two no longer have the strength to kill me now. When I return, I'll make the Jia family fall into chaos. Hearing this, TSA Thindang angrily pointed at the Demonic Valley 7, you're an elder of the Umin sect, yet you dare bully an innocent girl? Aren't you ashamed? But the Demonic Valley 7 looked at him like an idiot, ashamed? Those two words don't exist in our eyes. Then he turned to Track Fam, little fellow, I quite like you. Just a few words and you stirred up that woman's fighting spirit. If we weren't enemies today, I would definitely take you as my disciple. But Track Fam glared at him angrily, you've harmed my friend, I must kill you. Then he told TSA Thindang to prepare to attack. But TSA Thindang worried it would harm Jia Linghuang and was about to object when Track Fam said, This suffering is precisely the outcome Linghuang desires. Hearing this, TSA Thindang said nothing, only stealing himself to attack the demonic Valley 7. Track Fam also activated his formation, 
the two furiously striking with maximum power. But the demonic Valley Seventh merely scoffed, I've already figured out this formation. No matter how powerful the thunder and fire are, without wind, you cannot defeat me. Just then, Track Fam's voice rang out, who said we don't have wind. Immediately after, a gust of wind force suddenly emerged under the demonic Valley Seventh's feet. Simultaneously, the thunder and fire closed in. The three elements combined into a massive exploding energy burst on the spot. Seeing this, TSA Thindang was dumbfounded, not understanding how the windstorm suddenly appeared. Now Track Fam turned around, the pained look from before gone, replaced by a cruel smile, of course, because I deceived you all. This is the most ruthless side of Track Fam I've ever seen in these comics. To achieve his goals, he can do anything. Just a second ago he was crying for you. In the blink of an eye he has betrayed you. In his eyes, there is no family affection or friendship, only self-interest. Now a sinister smile appears on Track Fam's face. I told you I couldn't control the fifth level formation alone. That three people were needed to join forces. That was to deceive you. Otherwise, that cunning demonic Valley Seventh would have seen through it, and I couldn't have tricked him. TSA Thindang stammered in disbelief. You've been deceiving me all along? Track Fam continued. He's the smartest in the Umin sect. If I fought him alone, I might not have won. So I arranged for you all to join forces. However, this method has a fatal flaw. It requires three people to unleash full power. That weakness would definitely be discovered by the demonic Valley Seventh, and of course, he would attack Jia Linghuang, the weakest link among us, Track Fam said smugly. But he certainly didn't expect that Jia Linghuang was my bait. That's when he fell into my trap. TSA Thindang went cold with sweat, stammering, you planned to abandon Jia Linghuang from the start? He never imagined Track Fam could be so ruthless. At first, he proclaimed he wouldn't leave anyone behind, pretending to be so loyal, but in the blink of an eye, he betrayed the girl. Seeing TSA Thindang's expression, Track Fam smiled, why are you looking at me like that? I didn't force her, she chose this herself. I merely created the opportunity for her to sacrifice herself for her family. That's an extremely heroic act. Didn't you also suggest abandoning the burden of Jia Linghuang? I just thought further ahead, utilizing that burden. Hearing this, TSA Thindang fell silent for a while, then asked, what about the promise to take Jia Linghuang out of the city? Track Fam scoffed, indeed, I promised to take her away, but taking her corpse out of the city also counts. Hearing this, TSA Thindang was stunned, frozen in place. After over a month together, he thought he understood Track Fam but now felt utterly alienated and terrified by him. A person so ruthless and cold-blooded was even more frightening than the most formidable martial artists. Just as the two were talking, a laugh rang out from behind. They turned around, shocked to see the demonic Valley Seventh calmly walking out from the flames. It turned out he had luckily survived the previous attack thanks to his two fifth-level treasures. Moreover, he had rescued Jia Linghuang as well the reason for which will be explained later. Track Fam didn't expect the demonic Valley Seventh to survive, but also admired his adaptability. Earlier, he endured their full combined attack without revealing his hand. The demonic Valley Seventh laughed mockingly, this world is full of schemes. But by always keeping a trump card, I always win. Now you're out of tricks. There's nothing you can do to me. But at that moment, a smile appeared on Track Fam's face. He raised his hand, commanding the blood oath technique. Immediately, blood shot out from Jia Linghuang's body, straight at the demonic Valley Seventh. This was the real bait, Track Fam thought smugly, believing he would be the ultimate victor. But as he finished speaking, a beam of light pierced through his chest. Track Fam looked at the wound in shock, not understanding what happened. How could there be such constant reversals? The most meticulous schemer fell in an instant. It was this. It turned out when the blood oath from Jia Linghuang flew over, a sharp spike protruded from the demonic Valley Seventh's arm and pierced through it. Since the blood oath and Track Fam shared the same origin, he suffered a similar wound, seeing Track Fam collapse. TSA Thindang was also very surprised. He immediately drew his sword and charged, but was defeated by the Demonic Valley Seventh in one move. Falling unconscious on the spot, the Demonic Valley Seventh slowly approached Track Fam. Little brat, you're truly formidable. Your talent makes even me wary. With another 20 years, you would surely become an evil demon in the magic world. Even the strategic genius from Feng Shui Academy would be no match for you. But it's a pity you don't don't have that opportunity. 
because I fear what you might become if allowed to grow further. He then prepared to deliver the final blow to Track Fam. At this point, Track Fam was severely wounded, completely unable to resist. He never expected that despite his meticulous calculations, he would still fail so miserably. Though he reluctantly accepted defeat, he still felt resentful in his heart. For whatever reason, he was the one who ended up dying in the end. But would Track Fam truly accept that outcome? Impossible. Just as the demonic Valley 7th was about to strike Track Fam, a green flame appeared in the sky. Seeing this, the demonic Valley 7's face was filled with horror. No way, how did that monster get to District 2? No longer paying attention to Track Fam, he swiftly leapt away. Not long after he left, a massive green phoenix flame appeared in the sky, leaving a trail of barren land wherever it went. Everything was incinerated by the green flames, but luckily it didn't fly towards the three of them. At this time, Jia Linghuang gradually regained consciousness after her coma. Seeing the scene before her, she was stunned, thinking it was caused by the battle with the demonic Valley 7th. She hurriedly looked for Track Fam and TSA Thindang but only saw Track Fam lying motionless on the ground, his life or death unclear. She rushed over to check on him, but no matter how much she called, Track Fam showed no response. It was then she noticed he was covered in blood. Could Track Fam really be dead? Track Fam was the reincarnated demon Cain, possessing many ancient secrets and the extremely rare blood oath. Yet even so, he was still defeated. How pitiful Track Fam's fate was. Though severely wounded and on the verge of death, under Jia Linghuang's cries, he finally regained consciousness. Track Fam weakly raised his hand, pointing at the treasure. Jia Linghuang understood, immediately placing the treasure on his body. Upon contact, the treasure automatically transformed into a stream of gas, entering Track Fam's body. However, he was still very weak, constantly calling out for fresh blood. Hearing this, kind-hearted Jia Linghuang didn't think twice, immediately slitting her wrist, dripping blood into Track Fam's mouth. As soon as the blood touched his lips, Track Fam's eyes suddenly opened wide, filled with hunger. He then grabbed Jia Linghuang's wrist tightly, greedily drinking her blood. Though she could feel her blood draining, Jia Linghuang remained silent and let Track Fam drink. Afterwards, Track Fam's complexion improved greatly, his life fortunately out of danger. Seeing Jia Linghuang's exhaustion, Track Fam felt a tinge of remorse. He had treated her poorly before, never expecting she would end up saving him. He took out a pill, handing it to Jia Linghuang. This is a heart protection pill. I'll take one, and you take the other. Then let's see if that brat is still alive. If so, we'll give him one too. Jia Linghuang obeyed giving both of them the pills before going to check on TSA Thindang. But she didn't take her own pill, silently pocketing it. This didn't escape Track Fam's notice. He asked, why aren't you taking the pill when you're injured? Jia Linghuang smiled, it's just a minor wound, I'm fine. Those precious pills should be saved for you and young master TSA. Hearing this, TSA Thindang nearby also felt something was amiss. TSA Thindang said unhappily, Miss Jia, just take it. That's the least he owes you. Did you know, he was planning to deliberately sacrifice you as bait? Upon hearing this, Jia Linghuang was completely stunned, unable to believe what she just heard. Track Fam's face was also filled with guilt at this moment. He wanted to explain but didn't know what to say. But before he could speak up, Jia Linghuang smiled, her eyes reddening, it's okay. You don't need to explain anything. I know Brother Track is very intelligent and strategic. Everything has its own plan. It must be a misunderstanding. As Track Fam gazed at the innocent girl before him, he felt increasingly remorseful. To dispel the awkward atmosphere, Jia Linghuang said she would go gather branches to make stretchers for the two. Seeing this, TSA Thindang called out, Miss Jia, you're letting him off so easily? He's severely injured now, you can take any revenge you want. But before he could finish, Track Fam had cut him off, if you want to die, I'll oblige you. HMPH, you're more injured than me, why should I fear you? TSA Thindang retorted defiantly, though inwardly uneasy. He could sense the killing intent from Track Fam. Although they lost this battle, being able to push the demonic Valley 7th to such a state proved Track Fam's formidability. His ruthlessness towards friends provoked resentment, while his meticulous schemes instilled trepidation. Yet above all was respect. It was hard to fathom that two young men would let a frail girl carry them away. In the end, what was this situation? After the battle with the demonic valley, both Track Fam and TSA Thindang were severely injured, fortunately still alive but immobile. Now their only hope was to rely on Jia Linghuang to support them. Thinking back, the girl once seen as a burden had become their lifeline. It was indeed ironic. Jia Linghuang struggled to drag the two men along in the rain, 
stumbling many times but persisting without giving up. Seeing this, TSA Thindang felt extremely ashamed. Among the three of them, only Jia Linghuang had been wholeheartedly devoted from start to finish, never abandoning or giving up. He and Track Fam owed the girl a great debt of gratitude. As they trudged along, Jia Linghuang suddenly noticed a mountain rat crawling out from the ground, squeaking at her. It seemed to want the three of them to follow it. Sure enough, under the rat's guidance, Jia Linghuang found a cave. She was delighted to have found shelter from the rain. After bringing the two men inside and getting them settled, Jia Linghuang saw Track Fam wake up. But immediately he opened his eyes wide in horror, telling them they had to leave right away. Jia Linghuang and TSA Thindang looked at him not understanding what had happened. Track fam gestured for them to look at the ground. Everywhere were stress relief flowers, which could help relieve fatigue. Hearing this, TSA Thindang was even more puzzled. Stress relief flowers are good, though, what's wrong? Track fam explained, for humans they're fine, but for spiritual beasts these flowers have a paralytic effect. Luring them here. Upon hearing this, TSA Thindang immediately realized the danger. You mean, this is a spiritual beast trap? Track fam nodded. Correct, this is a trap set by their ancestors. The mountain rat was lured here, which led us to this trap as well. Hearing this, TSA Thindang angrily wanted to kill the rat on the spot. At this moment, Track Fam suddenly remembered another important matter. He asked, what time is it now? Jia Linghuang didn't know exactly, only guessing that a day had passed. Upon hearing this, Track Fam panicked, we're dead. Track Fam said, the Qi guiding pill only lasts one day. Certainly from the time we entered here, the monsters have detected us and are gathering their forces to come here. TSA Thindang was alarmed, you mean, bite them pack by pack? Track fam explained, powerful spiritual beasts usually ignore such petty traps. Only lowly ones set traps like this, and they typically act in packs. As he said this, fierce howls suddenly rang out from outside. The three looked out in shock. A large pack of spiritual beasts had surrounded the cave entrance, ready to attack at any moment. They had just escaped death, only to fall into a spiritual beast trap. By the time they realized, it was too late. Outside, a vicious wolf pack surrounded them, including a level 4 alpha wolf. While Track Fam and TSA Thindang were injured, unable to defend themselves. At this moment, Track Fam told TSA Thindang to give his sword to Jia Linghuang. TSA Thindang didn't understand. With Jia Linghuang's abilities, even with a fourth grade spirit sword, she couldn't fend off the beast pack. But Track Fam coldly said, Linghuang, take the sword not to fight, but just to escape outside. He then gave Jia Linghuang a vial of qi guiding pills. After escaping, Use this to leave Mount Wanshu. Don't go home, flee straight out of the city. Jia Linghuang looked at him in a daze, not expecting him to say such a thing. TSA Thindang was also very surprised but quickly understood Track Fam's intention. They owed the girl too much. Now in a dead end, they shouldn't drag her down further. Thinking this, he immediately gave his sword to Jia Linghuang. She silently took it and stepped outside. Watching Jia Linghuang's back, TSA Thindang felt an odd sense of relief. This way, their debt to her was repaid. Even in death, he could leave in peace. Track Fam, however, coldly said, I don't care about repaying debts. Even if I die now, I won't be resigned to it. But I don't want her to do anything more because of me. As they spoke, sounds of fighting came from outside. The two were startled and quickly looked out. It turned out Jia Linghuang was wielding the sword, blocking the cave entrance, not letting the spiritual beasts charge in. Track Fam hurriedly called out, what are you doing? Jia Linghuang smiled and turned back, look, as long as I block them here, they can't get in. Track Fam scolded angrily, fool, those charging at the front are just cannon fodder. The alpha wolf won't care if they live or die, but you'll be held back by them until you're dead. But Jia Linghuang just shook her head, the alpha wolf is just a wild beast, it may not care about its kind, but you two are my only friends since birth, I will definitely not abandon you. Saying that, she continued fighting the wolf pack, but their overwhelming numbers quickly drained Jia Linghuang's stamina. She could barely stand, yet stubbornly blocked the entrance. This scene moved Track Fam deeply. In his two lifetimes, he had never felt this way, never expecting anyone to sacrifice so much for him. Recalling how he had exploited Jia Linghuang as bait before, Track Fam felt immense regret. TSA Thindang also regretted, but could only watch her fight helplessly now. Then another wolf lunged to attack, but the exhausted Jia Linghuang, that kind-hearted girl, was being torn apart by the pack. Meanwhile, the two injured men beside her could only watch anxiously, as both Track Fam and TSA Thindang were severely wounded, immobilized from excessive blood loss. 
Jia Linghuang quickly lost consciousness. As the alpha wolf prepared to deliver the final bite, suddenly a bird call rang out from the forest. Hearing that familiar sound, the entire wolf pack trembled. Before they could react, countless sword chi beams swept the pack away. In the blink of an eye, only the alpha wolf remained. Next, a green flame rapidly spread towards them. Against this heaven-defying force, even the alpha couldn't escape, burning to ashes along with its pack. However, the green flame seemed conscious, avoiding Jia Linghuang and the two men, not harming them. As Track Fam lost consciousness, he was surprised to hear someone calling his name. Startled awake, he found himself in a strange space, his body fully healed. What is this? Then a voice rang out from afar. Your name is Track Fam, isn't it? I heard the two kids call you that. A figure made of green flames approached. Track Fam immediately became wary. Who are you? The other said, you don't need to know who I am. This is my place. Only I get to ask you, Track Fam, why did you come to Mount Wanshu? Unsure if friend or foe. Track fam pondered before answering truthfully, I came to capture the sixth grade spiritual beast, Thundercloud Claw. The other asked back, what do you need it for? Track fam gave a sinister smile, what else do you need a spiritual beast for, other than to increase power? But as soon as he finished, a sharp pain shot through his head. The other sneered, you little brat, this is your consciousness space, I can easily tell when you're lying. Track fam was quite surprised, not expecting this person could invade others' consciousness spaces. With such power far surpassing the divine illumination realm, even beyond mortal comprehension. Track fam guessed, you're someone from the divine realm? The other smiled upon hearing this. To freely enter others' consciousness spaces. Just how powerful must this person be? Facing such a being, Track fam couldn't help but wonder if the other descended from the divine realm. But the other seemed interested, you're indeed no ordinary person. Knowing about the divine realm yet still able to summon the sacred falcon. This shocked Track Fam greatly. You even know about the Sacred Falcon? The Sacred Falcon is an ancient relic from the Demon Emperor's era. Even in the Divine Realm few know of it. Thinking this, Track Fam looked at the other seriously. Who are you really? The other seemed displeased. I told you, in this place you have no right to ask questions. Now tell me, why do you want to capture Thundercloud Claw? Track Fam could only tell the truth. I needed to guide me to the underworld perilous region to find the heaven and earth primordial seal. Upon hearing this, the other was startled, then laughed, excellent, splendid, that's a good place, you should go. He then suddenly disappeared and reappeared before Track Fam. Before Track Fam could react, he touched Track Fam's forehead, little brat, you and I have a connection, I'll give you a small gift, hopefully it can help you in the future. If you want to find Thundercloud Claw, go to Area 3, it lives 3000 miles from here. After saying that, the other gradually disappeared. Track fam hurriedly called out, wait. But he immediately woke up, even more shocked to find he could now move his body. Although still weak, most of his wounds had healed, even his blood vitality had recovered. No longer in a comatose state, recalling that person who healed his injuries overnight. Track fam was certain it must have been a transcendent master. Otherwise, such great magic would be impossible. He didn't understand why that person approached him and seemed to have left something within him. With his current abilities, Track Fam couldn't probe it at all. No matter how much he pondered, he was stuck. He decided not to dwell on it anymore. Now he noticed Jia Linghuang lying on the ground. Track Fam immediately ran over to check on her. Seeing she was on the verge of death, he gave her a healing pill. Fortunately, Jia Linghuang only had external injuries. After taking the medicine, she was fine. Track Fam laid her on the worry relieving grass to recover. This grass is very good for healing wounds and restoring human vitality. After that, Track Fam went to TSA Thindang and lightly kicked him. How long are you going to lie there? Get up now. No response. The corners of Track Fam's mouth curved up. Then TSA Thindang's agonizing scream rang out. What a double standard. You gave Jia Linghuang medicine when she was injured, letting her rest comfortably, but when I'm more severely hurt, you kick me in the butt. Although crude, the method was equally effective. TSA Thindang didn't react in time, thinking he had died and was being tortured in the underworld. When he realized it was Track Fam kicking him, he was resentful, why do you get treated nicely when we both almost died, while I get kicked? Seeing his naive thought, Track Fam could only shake his head. 
He led TSA Thindang know everyone was still alive. Really? We're still alive? TSA Thindang stared in disbelief upon hearing this. He looked around and exclaimed, Indeed, we're alive. What luck. But his joy was short-lived. As he wondered, if we're alive, how did you recover so quickly? We took the same medicine, but your injuries were far worse than mine. Track fam didn't want to reveal the mysterious person, so he just shook his head. Seeing this, TSA Thindang seriously asked Track fam, You're not human, are you? You must be a spiritual beast that cultivated for a thousand years and transformed, right? Seeing he was starting to ramble nonsense, Track fam didn't want to entertain him further and walked straight out of the cave. Once outside, he scattered spirit stones around and pressed his palm down a radiant light enveloping the entire cave. It was Track Fam's concealment formation, meant to camouflage and protect them from surprise attacks. This way, they could recover in peace. Three months passed, and the group's injuries had fully healed. TSA Thindang swung his sword, cleaving the boulder in front of him in two. After finishing, he boasted to Jia Linghuang. The innocent girl clapped cheerfully, praising him for his skill. Just then, Track Fam's voice came from behind, your power has grown formidable. After recovering from these injuries, you may break through to the bone reinforcing 8th level. TSA Thindang replied unhappily, you also benefited from these injuries to break through. Track Fam said, your eyes are sharp. I'm about to break through too. Did you think I wouldn't know? Seeing this, Jia Linghuang tried to mediate. Why are you two arguing whenever you meet? TSA Thindang angrily said, it's all his fault. Every time I remember him using Nin NHI as bait before, it drives me mad. Track Fam calmly replied, you're the same. Who was it that first suggested abandoning her? This made TSA Thindang's face redden as he hurriedly explained, back then, I didn't know Nin NHI was so good. If I had known, how could I bear to abandon her? Moreover, even if I did abandon Nin NHI, it's better than you personally leading her to her death. But Track Fam remained calm after hearing this. I practice the demonic Tao, being more vicious than you is normal. TSA Thindang flared up, a little? You're as vicious as the difference between heaven and earth. As they continued arguing, Jia Linghuang quietly stepped forward and took their hands, enough now. We're all good friends who've been through life and death together. Let's forget the past. Faced with this, Track Fam and TSA Thindang stopped their quarrel. In truth, they weren't truly angry. After this incident, the three of them had become close friends. Track Fam felt such friendship was rare in life. But thinking of unfinished matters, he quietly released their hands and turned to say, now that everyone has recovered, each should handle their own affairs. However, he had promised to help Jia Linghuang leave the city before. Now he could only ask TSA Thindang for help, while he would go to Zone 3 of the Demonic Beast Mountain. Hearing Track Fam would go to Zone 3, TSA Thindang and Jia Linghuang were alarmed. They didn't understand why he had said going to Zone 3 before was to avoid the Demonic Valley sect, yet now he still wanted to go. Track Fam coldly replied, Zone 3 was always my original goal. Letting you come along was just to exploit you. TSA Thindang angrily shouted, You bastard. You saw me as bait too? That's right. If you don't want to die in vain, then quickly leave. The farther from me, the better. As he prepared to leave alone, Jia Linghuang suddenly grabbed his arm. Wait. Brother Track, if you don't see me as a burden, let me come too. Even if I'm used as bait. I'm willing as long as it helps you, brother. Track fam was surprised she would make such a decision. Jia Linghuang continued. Back in Qingling City. You were the only one who helped me. And we survived thanks to your formations and plans, Brother Track. We promised to stay together, didn't we? Faced with this unexpected situation, Track Fam was a bit flustered. Beside them, TSA Thindang watched silently, then extended his hand to, I'll go as well. But don't misunderstand, I'm not helping you. I just fear you'll betray Jia Linghuang again. Track Fam smiled at the two of them their deep affection needing no further words. However, entering Zone 3 of the Demonic Beast Mountain was easier said than done. To avoid detection, the three had to crawl along the ground, but this slowed their pace considerably. Moreover, TSA Thindang felt this was too humiliating, refusing to crawl any longer. Track Fam shouted, You fool! Get down! A level 5 demonic beast is extremely dangerous. But TSA Thindang remained nonchalant. What's the problem? It's so densely forested. How could any demonic beast see us? No sooner had he finished than an ear-splitting roar rang out. A ferocious level 4 demonic beast appeared before them and charged to tear them apart. But before it could reach them, an enormous tail whipped it, sending it flying into the air. Then, a massive python lunged forward and swallowed it whole. Track Fam recognized it as the Black Dragon Python, a level 5 demonic beast. He urgently told the two to run. 
Luckily, the python ignored them. The three quickly escaped. Despite feeling humiliated, TSA Thindang obediently stayed low to the ground, not daring to move. Track Fam and Jia Linghuang looked at him and laughed, then continued crawling. The three bravely infiltrated Zone 3 of the Demonic Beast Mountain. Here, even a random demonic beast could easily devour them. After a month of crawling underground, they finally reached the central area. They no longer needed to stay low, as only level 6 demonic beasts remained, with lower levels not daring to approach. TSA Thindang felt relieved, happily saying it was safer here than before. Track Fam smiled, you could say that. However, encountering a level 6 beast means a quicker death. Hearing this, TSA Thindang froze. If level 6 beasts were that formidable, why had they come here? TSA Thindang asked, what are you looking for them for? To tame them as pets? Track Fam didn't answer, only smiling mysteriously, for he had figured out how to tame a level 6 beast, by feeding it blood silkworms. The problem was how to make it eat them. Just then, a loud noise came from afar. The three were startled, unsure if it was the roar of a demonic beast, but it sounded tremendously loud. Track Fam immediately deduced it was a level 6 beast. He rushed towards the sound, with the other two hurriedly following. Upon arriving, they were shocked to find the Thundercloud Wing locked in battle with another demonic beast, the Flame Venom King. Though also level 6, its power was on par with level 7. Track Fam grew anxious seeing the Thundercloud Wing gradually forced back by the Flame Venom King's relentless attacks. The Thundercloud Wing was about to lose, and if killed, his plan would fail. He had to save it somehow. At this moment, Jia Linghuang ran over pleading, Brother Track, please save the little bird. It's only enduring the attacks to protect its young, not fighting over territory. Hearing this, Track Fam turned in surprise. Indeed, despite the vicious onslaught, the thundercloud wing desperately shielded the rock wall behind it, where its nest was. Seeing this, Jia Linghuang was deeply moved to tears. It's heartbreaking to watch a mother protect her children to the death without doing anything. Brother Track, please save them. But TSA Thindang stopped her, Miss Jia, don't interfere in a battle between level 6 beasts. With our strength, there's nothing we can do. This isn't just a fight between wild beasts, it's over territory and status. No one is more pitiable than the other. We shouldn't risk our lives for them. However, what TSA Thindang didn't know was that this scene reminded Jia Linghuang of the Jia family. The ones who had always protected and doted on her, even though she ran away causing great harm her father still let her go. However, Jia Linghuang also knew her request was too hasty, just an emotional impulse. But at that moment, Track Fam suddenly spoke up. Linghuang, let Brother Track try to save the little bird. TSA Thindang wondered why he was being so kind-hearted today. Thinking it over, he realized, ah, your target is the Thundercloud Wing, isn't it? Track Fam sneered, spending time with me has made you smarter. I'll need your help again in the future. Hearing this, TSA Thindang angrily refused. If you really want to tame the Thundercloud Wing, go yourself. Don't drag me into this. With that, he walked away. Seeing this, Track Fam secretly signaled Jia Linghuang, who immediately understood and followed TSA Thindang. Jia Linghuang put on a pitiful expression, pleading, Brother TSA, please go with Brother Track. The bird and its children are so pitiful. Hearing her sympathize with the bird, TSA Thindang thought, it could blow us away with a flap of its wings, yet she still pities it, why not pity me instead? But faced with the beautiful girl's coaxing, he still relented, but Track Fam, you'd better be careful. If you dare betray me, I'll definitely get revenge. Track Fam laughed, if I betray, I'll do it thoroughly. I won't give you a chance for revenge. Hearing this, TSA Thindang was completely deflated. Seeing this, Track Fam stopped teasing and said seriously, rest assured, I won't harm you. Then turning to Jia Linghuang, sister, go hide. Don't let those two beasts see us. Brother will return soon. As they approached the battle, they realized it was just shockwaves from the clash between the two demonic beasts. TSA Thindang asked Track Fam, what do we do now? Track Fam said, I'll sneak and steal the bird's nest, then hide it. When the Thundercloud Wing discovers this, it will hurry to find its young, no longer fighting the Flame Venom King. With the Thundercloud Wing's speed, the Flame Venom King can't catch it. That's how we'll save it. TSA Thindang nodded, ah, I see. A clever plan. The two snuck over, preparing to carry away the entire nest. But the Flame Venom King suddenly noticed them and charged, attacking the two instead of the Thundercloud Wing. Track Fam panicked, we're dead. 
we've been spotted. Run. But TSA Thindang hesitated. But what about the nest? TSA Thindang's irresponsible attitude enraged track fam, who flung all the eggs to the ground. We're about to die, and you still care about the eggs. At this moment, the thundercloud wing also noticed the commotion and hurried back to protect its young. But the flame venom king had already charged, aiming straight for the thundercloud wing's eggs. Seeing the eggs about to be struck, the thundercloud wing rushed forward, using its own body to shield the blow. Immediately, it was engulfed in a sea of flames. Track Fam was horrified, never expecting things to turn so disastrous. He had wanted to help the Thundercloud Wing gain the upper hand, but instead caused it to sacrifice itself to protect its young. Track Fam also didn't expect the Flame Venom King to be so cunning. Knowing it was difficult to hit the fast Thundercloud Wing, it changed targets to attack the immobile eggs instead. The Thundercloud Wing would surely sacrifice itself to protect its offspring and now that it was severely wounded, the Flame Venom King prepared to deliver the final blow, spewing another stream of fire at the Thundercloud Wing. To protect its unborn children, the Thundercloud Wing could only muster its final strength to resist. Track Fam knew the Thundercloud Wing's defeat was only a matter of time. Once it died, the crazed Flame Venom King would turn on them. He hurriedly tried to pull Jia Linghuang away, but she stood motionless. Track Fam could only console, Linghuang, there's nothing we can do here. But Jia Linghuang didn't react, for the scene before her reminded her of her mother who sacrificed herself to protect her. Just like the thundercloud wing now, her mother also fearlessly faced death for her child. At this moment, Jia Linghuang witnessed the great maternal love of the thundercloud wing. To protect its young, it was willing to sacrifice its life. Seeing the flame venom king charge at the dying thundercloud wing again, Jia Linghuang, overcome with anguish, disregarded everything and rushed forward. Track Fam and TSA Thindang were shocked by her reckless action. It was too late to stop her now. Jia Linghuang stood before the dying thundercloud wing, facing the flame venom king's claws striking down. Seeing this, TSA Thindang rushed to shield her, but against the flame venom king's attack, both faced certain annihilation. Without hesitation, Track Fam also charged forward. Though a master of demonic arts, he never expected to recklessly risk his life for two mortals. But to him, they had become brothers in arms. Even knowing victory was impossible, he refused to abandon them. He was willing to sacrifice himself to protect his friends. At the critical moment, a green flame appeared on Track Fam's forehead. Did this help him and the others escape danger? Surprisingly, even a demonic master like him was willing to risk his life for his comrades. The green flame blazed on his brow, and in an instant, the entire demonic beast mountain sensed this terrifying power. Even the flame venom king, facing this impenetrable green flame, could only flee for its life, fearing it would be trapped here forever if it hesitated. Though unsure what happened, feeling the heat from his forehead, Track Fam knew it must be related to that mysterious person. This scene also left TSA Thindang stunned. How could Track Fam drive away a level 6 demonic beast with just a glance? The Flame Venom King's child fled as if terrified Track Fam would devour it. TSA Thindang wanted to ask how he did that, but Track Fam was still dazed and couldn't explain. Meanwhile, Jia Linghuang looked at the dying thundercloud wing with pity and asked, Brother Track, is there any way to save the little bird? Track Fam shook his head, too late, it's about to die. Hearing this, Jia Linghuang couldn't hold back her tears, which fell onto the thundercloud wing. Miraculously, it suddenly opened its eyes. Seeing the thundercloud wing staring intently in one direction, Jia Linghuang turned to see its burnt eggs there, but it seemed one egg was missing. As Jia Linghuang said this, the thundercloud wing struggled to lift its wing. The remaining egg appeared. Track Fam suddenly realized the thundercloud wing knew it couldn't protect them all, so it had hidden one egg away. That way, even if it died, one egg would survive undetected. It had sacrificed itself to protect its child. At that moment, the thundercloud wing struggled up and cried out to Track Fam. He asked in surprise, you want me to take this egg? The thundercloud wing nodded firmly. Track Fam picked up the egg and examined it, saying, the egg is damaged by the fire. It will be difficult for it to hatch and survive, unless. He whispered something into the thundercloud wing's ear. The bird seemed startled at first, then nodded at Track Fam, apparently agreeing to his arrangement. After entrusting its child to Track Fam, the thundercloud wing exhausted its strength and closed its eyes, passing away. Track Fam looked pensively at the egg in his hand, while the little fairy Jia had been crying for half a quarter after the mother bird died. Track Fam didn't expect Jia Linghuang to grieve so deeply for an unfamiliar creature.
creature, but more crying would be pointless, so he tried to console her, the bird has died, don't be too sad. TSA Thindang also said, that's right, you've become overly empathetic with the thundercloud wing despite only meeting it once. But Jia Linghuang explained they misunderstood. She was moved because the thundercloud wing's maternal love reminded her of her own parents, who had always protected her at the cost of their lives. Hearing this, Track Fam said, in that case, don't be too sad. I'll take the thundercloud wing's body. He then stored the bird's corpse into a ring. Seeing this, TSA Thindang was displeased. You're going to monopolize the body of a level 6 beast? Track Fam glanced at him. You saw it yourself. The Thundercloud Wing entrusted its child to me, and its body as well. He then flew deep into the forest. Stay here with Ling Hoang. I'll be right back. Watching Track Fam's back, TSA Thindang wanted to follow and see what he was up to. But he decided to stay with Jia Ling Hoang in this desolate place. Track Fam began enacting his plan. He took out the Thundercloud Wing's corpse and the high-quality materials he had found since his rebirth, so he could create a treasure containing the Thundercloud Wing's spiritual energy. The reason he did this was because the Thundercloud Wing's egg had been severely damaged, and needed to absorb spiritual energy from its body to continue developing. Otherwise, the egg would be ruined. To provide the spiritual energy, an object capable of absorbing and storing it internally was needed. Therefore, before the Thundercloud Wing died, Track Fam explained and asked for its permission, knowing its remaining spiritual energy could help its child live. The Thundercloud Wing agreed. Track Fam began casting a spell and the spiritual energy gradually converged. When he placed his hand on the ground, a powerful surge of spiritual energy erupted, enveloping the thundercloud wing's corpse and the rain. Meanwhile, Jia Linghuang and TSA Thindang, who had been waiting, grew bored, realizing no one was around. TSA Thindang wanted to flirt with Jia Linghuang, but at that moment, Track Fam returned. TSA Thindang changed his attitude and asked, What did you do with the thundercloud wing's body? Track Fam smiled mysteriously, cut it into pieces. Jia Linghuang was shocked by Track Fam's cruelty, but TSA Thindang was used dead. Explaining to her, spiritual beast corpses are usually processed like that. I just don't know what valuable thing he cultivated from it. Track Fam smiled mysteriously. Want to know? Guess correctly and I'll give it to you. But hearing that, TSA Thindang lost interest. TSA Thindang scoffed, some silly thing. I'm the heir of the TSA family. I don't need you to give me anything. Even if I die, I won't accept anything from you. Track Fam smiled faintly. Oh, the great young master TSA certainly has an impressive bearing. Then he approached Jia Linghuang. Big brother has nothing to gift you. Only this. Track Fam then put a ring on Jia Linghuang's hand. The girl was overjoyed. Suddenly, a purple mist appeared from the ring. Jia Linghuang asked in surprise, what is that? Track Fam raised his hand, which also had a similar ring. This is the Thunder Spirit Seal I crafted from the Thundercloud Wing's corpse. It can contain living beings inside, one for each of us. This type of ring differs from ordinary spatial rings. Besides the complex crafting method known to few sects, it can also store spiritual energy. These two rings were originally one, so when they react, it means I'm nearby. Hearing this, TSA Thindang immediately grew wary. Why did he give her one but not me? Hmm. Unable to contain himself, he shouted, Track Fam, you had to give me one too. Track Fam coldly replied, Didn't you just say you wouldn't accept anything from me, even if you died? Unable to beg successfully, TSA Thindang said, You must give me one, or else the two of them will become a couple. If you don't give it, I'll take it by force. Before he finished, Track Fam tossed him an object. TSA Thindang hurriedly caught it and opened it to find an identical Thunder Spirit seal ring. Track Fam smiled, We've all gone through dangers together. Why wouldn't I give you one? TSA Thindang was stunned, not expecting Track Fam to be so sentimental. He couldn't help but be surprised. But he quickly regained his arrogant demeanor. HMPH, I suppose you have good intentions, so I'll accept it. He then joyfully played with Jia Linghuang, no longer paying any attention to Track Fam. Meanwhile, on a nearby cliff, a silver-haired man was observing the three. He smiled, then transformed into a blue bird and flew away. Time passed, and a month later, the three returned to Zone 1 of the Beast Mountains. Once out of Qingling City, they would be completely safe. Although he didn't tame the Thundercloud Wing, Track Fam was still satisfied with its egg and his two newfound friends. At this point, Jia Linghuang worriedly asked if they had angered the old Demon Valley Lord, who would set traps to capture them. Track Fam replied, No, he didn't kill us then because he must have encountered some danger and fled in a hurry. Even he was afraid. It must have been something terrifying. So he probably thinks we died dead, and won't pursue us further. 
Hearing this, TSA Thindang wondered what it was. Track Fam wasn't sure either, so TSA Thindang said dejectedly, What kind of thing is it if even you don't know? Then Track Fam asked Jia Linghuang, Where will you go after leaving here? Jia Linghuang looked at him admiringly, I will follow Brother Track. TSA Thindang then suggested, Miss Jia, why don't you come to the TSA mansion with me? Even if your family comes looking for you, they can't do anything to you there. Jia Linghuang agreed immediately, but then she thought of Track Fam beside her. Brother Track, come to the TSA mansion with us too. However, Track Fam coldly declined. I have other matters to attend to. If fate allows, we'll meet again. Seeing he truly wanted to leave, TSA Thindang called out, I welcome you to my home. We're like brothers now. Please take care of me a bit. But before Track Fam could respond, a sudden beam of light appeared before the three, and an old man stepped forward, coldly saying, None of you are going anywhere. Track Fam recognized him as a celestial profound expert, his threatening gaze making him wonder if this was the elder of the Demon Valley coming to capture them. As they worried, Jia Linghuang suddenly ran crying and hugged the old man, calling him grandfather. Track Fam immediately realized this was Jia Dingxian the sole ancestor of the Jia family. The old man doted on his granddaughter, but looked at Track Fam and TSA Thindang with hateful eyes, threateningly asking if they had done anything to Jia Linghuang. Hearing this, Jia Linghuang hurriedly denied it, embarrassed. Knowing his granddaughter was still pure, Jia Dingxian asked who the two were and who had beaten his grandson. TSA Thindang then pointed at Track Fam, I only met Miss Jia later. I've never seen your grandson before. Track fam was angered but still respectful. At that time, I didn't know he was her elder brother. Please forgive me. But Jia Dingxian looked at him sharply. So it was you who kidnapped my granddaughter, wasn't it? Hearing kidnapped, Jia Linghuang blushed in embarrassment as she denied it. TSA Thindang angrily turned to Track Fam, explain this properly. What relationship do you and Jia Linghuang have? His action left Jia Dingxian bewildered. He looked at his granddaughter, little girl. What is he to you? Why does he seem more concerned about this than I am? Seeing the old man ask such a thing in front of the other two, Jia Linghuang wanted to sink into the ground. Track Fam explained, you've misunderstood. I only asked her to guide me, that's all. Hearing this, Jia Dingjin's expression softened. Oh, since you took care of my granddaughter, I won't make things difficult for you. He then grabbed Jia Linghuang's hand to leave, but Track Fam suddenly called out, wait, you can't take Linghuang away. In fact, I advise you not to return either. Jia Dingxian looked at him puzzled. What do you mean? Track Fam was serious. I'm telling the truth. We've angered the Demon Valley Lord. He's also seen her. He's probably already attacked the Jia family's headquarters. If you two go back, you'll only meet death. Hearing this, Jia Dingxian was stunned, nearly collapsing. Jia Linghuang hurriedly helped her grandfather up. Feeling guilty, she kept apologizing to him. Looking at his beloved granddaughter, Jia Dingxian couldn't blame her. Instead, he placed all the responsibility on Track Fam and TSA Thindang. He believed that by handing them over to the Demon Valley Lord, the Jia family would be spared. With this thought, he suddenly charged at Track Fam to capture him. But Track Fam wouldn't surrender so easily. He immediately evaded and used illusory clones to disorient his opponent. However, Jia Dingjin's speed was too fast. In the blink of an eye, he struck both of them. Unexpectedly, those were just illusions. Track Fam had already snuck behind Jia Dingxian, preparing to attack him, but the gap in their strength was too great. Despite the surprise, Track Fam was easily evaded by his opponent. Jia Dingxian struck Track Fam, sending him crashing heavily into a boulder, severely injuring him, and leaving him unable to fight. As Jia Dingxian was about to deliver the final blow, TSA Thindang suddenly attacked, using a profound martial art, but it didn't cause any damage. In the blink of an eye, Jia Dingxian was behind him and defeated TSA Thindang as well. Track Fam couldn't believe Jia Dingjin's terrifying power. Against the Demon Valley Lord, if not for the formation, they would have died long ago. Now facing Jia Dingxian, also at the Celestial Profound Realm, the two were completely powerless. At that moment, Jia Linghuang screamed, Stop! Jia Dingxian turned around, stunned to see her holding a knife to her own throat, begging her grandfather to spare them. Jia Linghuang threatened, If not, I'll kill myself right in front of you. But she had overestimated her position. Although Jia Dingxian doted on his granddaughter, in his heart, the family came first. Even Jia Linghuang couldn't compare. Seeing Jia Dingxian advancing despite her threat, Track Fam laughed, Old man Jia, you've really grown senile. 
You think capturing this will save the Jia family? In fact, it will only hasten the Jia clan's demise. Hearing this, Jia Dingxian had a bad premonition. What do you mean? Track fam pointed at TSA Thindang. Do you know who this kid is? He's from the TSA family. One of the seven noble families. Would a minor family like yours dare capture someone from the TSA family? Although Jia Dingxian denied it verbally, he was inwardly terrified. Track fam sneered, you don't believe me? Let's see what the TSA family will do. I'm not sure about the Demon Valley, but the TSA family will definitely annihilate your entire clan. Jia Dingxian wanted to capture the two to hand over to the Demon Valley Lord for the sake of his family. But unexpectedly, TSA Thindang was from the TSA family. Another of the seven noble families, absolutely not to be provoked. Track fam began intimidating the old man capture us and hand us over to the Demon Valley. Who knows if they'll even accept us. But if the TSA family comes after you, who will take the blame for them? Hearing this, Jia Dingxian trembled in fear and quickly knelt down, begging the two young masters, it was my fault for not knowing your identities. Please forgive me. Seizing this opportunity, Track Fam secretly told TSA Thindang to play along as the young master if he wanted to live. TSA Thindang understood and nodded in response. But Jia Linghuang couldn't bear to see her grandfather like this. She tried to run over and help the old man up, but Track Fam stopped her. He acted arrogantly, do you know Master Sa's status for daring to harm him? The TSA family will not let you off. Jia Dingxian was terrified repeatedly bowing and apologizing. Seeing this, Track Fam felt it was enough. He coldly snorted, all right, we'll take Ling Huang away. Whether it's the Jia family or the Demon Valley, if you want her, come to the TSA residence. With that, he turned to leave. But Jia Dingxian hurriedly grabbed his leg, wait, even if Ling Huang angered the Demon Valley Lord, it doesn't matter, but I absolutely cannot let her go. If not, our family will be annihilated. Even if I have to provoke the TSA family, I cannot agree. Hearing this, Track Fam was surprised. He thought the Demon Valley might have some ulterior motive. He raised TSA Thindang's sword, pointing it at Jia Dingjin's face, and demanded sternly, Why are you so determined to keep Ling Huang? What do you plan to do by taking her back to the Demon Valley? Jia Dingxian had to explain, I know you all like my granddaughter but she's already betrothed to the young master of the Demon Valley. On her 16th birthday, she was supposed to become the young master's wife. Many times before, she tried to avoid it, but the deadline has passed. If she doesn't go, our entire family will face big trouble. He bowed his head and pleaded for forgiveness. Track fam pondered for a while, seeing the old man didn't seem to be lying. He sighed, it seems you're unaware as well. This marriage to the Demon Valley must have been arranged long ago. Have you ever seen any girl who married into their comeback alive? Hearing this, Jia Dingxian was startled, but he didn't believe Track Fam's words. Jia Dingxian said, that's because great clans like the Demon Valley are very strict with rules. We're just minor families, how dare we make any demands? Once a daughter is married off, we don't inquire further. Track Fam sneered, you not inquiring is precisely what they want. But if I tell you all those brides have died, what will you do? Will you still send Ling Huang away? As an extremely powerful great clan, the Demon Valley has a tradition of selecting brides from noble families. For the Jia family, this was a great opportunity to associate with them, but they never expected the horrifying secret behind it. After analyzing, Track Fam told Jia Dingxian that all the brides had died. Hearing this, Jia Dingxian was shaken and denied it. They had no reason to kill the girls when the Jia family remained loyal to the Demon Valley. But Track Fam coldly said, it's precisely because you're loyal that they choose you as sacrifices. His words horrified all three of them. Track Fam continued to explain that in demonic cultivation, there's a method that uses resentful energy and evil spirits as offensive weapons. But if the resentful energy is too heavy, it's easy to backfire. So the purest soul at the ideal age of 16 is needed for the cultivation. Hearing this, TSA Thindang was enraged. They planned to use Ling Huang for cultivation, didn't they? Track Fam nodded, most likely. Do you remember the martial arts the Demon Valley Lord used? It was at the profound level, but still incomplete and not very powerful. He must not have had enough materials, so he couldn't successfully cultivate it. Hearing this, all three shuddered, never expecting the Demon Valley to be so cruel as to use living people for cultivation. After a while, Jia Dingxian said tremblingly, Ling Huang, if what the young master said is true, you should leave. Jia Ling Huang was worried, but before she could speak, Jia Dingxian continued, don't worry, I'll go investigate this matter. If it's not as the young master said, I'll come back for you. Then you don't have to blame me for forcing you to get married. Without waiting for Jia Linghuang to respond, he left swiftly. Watching his back disappear, 
Jia Linghuang worriedly asked Track Fam if he would be in danger. Track Fam remained silent for a while, then decided to tell the truth. If he doesn't return, the Jia family will be safe for a while longer. But if he comes back, your entire family will definitely be annihilated. Hearing this, Jia Linghuang was stunned. Seeing her reaction, TSA Thindang couldn't bear it and turned to Track Fam, yelling, you're not a worm in the Demon Valley Lord's stomach to be so sure the old man will die if he returns home. I think if a celestial profound expert returns, he would have to be wary. But Track Fam seriously said, I'm not a worm in his stomach, but we cultivate the same path. I can guess his thoughts. First, we've provoked him, and he's decided to annihilate the Jia family. But seeing the old man go find someone, he doesn't know there's a celestial profound expert under him, so he's hesitating. However, if the old man returns, he won't hesitate anymore. But TSA Thindang thought Track Fam was talking nonsense because even in the Seven World Clans, a celestial profound expert is considered an elder. The Demon Valley Lord wouldn't dare annihilate an entire clan with such an expert. Track Fam looked at him very seriously. You've misunderstood something. A celestial profound expert isn't necessarily powerful. Only unrestrained experts are truly formidable. Otherwise, why would Jia Dingxian be afraid of me? He's not afraid of us, but the power behind you, the TSA family. TSA Thindang still wanted to argue, but faced with reality, he fell silent. At this moment, Jia Linghuang suddenly spoke up, Brother Track, I know you always analyze things very accurately. Please tell me the truth, if I return as the little consort, can I negotiate with the Demon Valley Lord to preserve my family's lives? TSA Thindang hurriedly tried to stop her, Linghuang, don't do this. But Track Fam remained silent. Faced with the girl's determined gaze, he could only sigh, with your status as an elder of the Demon Valley but still unable to successfully cultivate that martial art. It's clear the materials there are very scarce. Your approach may be effective. But, before he could finish, Jia Linghuang cut him off. No need to say more, as long as it's possible. Thank you both for taking care of me these past months. We part ways here. She turned to leave. TSA Thindang rushed to stop her, but Jia Linghuang said, don't stop me, brothers. No I can't defeat you, but I'll resent you both for life. Hearing this, TSA Thindang could only stop. Watching the girl walk into the abyss painfully, he asked Track Fam if Jia Linghuang could save her clan. Track Fam remained silent for a while, then said, she can save them temporarily. But once she becomes the little consort, the entire Jia family will also be annihilated. Hearing this, TSA Thindang angrily asked why Track Fam still let Jia Linghuang go. Track Fam sighed, at least when she dies, Linghuang will think her family was kept safe and can rest in peace. Before he could finish, he was punched in the face by TSA Thindang. TSA Thindang angrily said, you plan to sell out Linghuang? He then turned and left. Track Fam asked where he was going. TSA Thindang said without turning back, I'm going to save Lin Annie. Track Fam scoffed, you're just at the broken bones level, yet you dare fight a celestial profound expert? You just saw the gap between broken bones and celestial profound. Not only can they fly in the air, their speed is also incomparable to yours at the broken bones level. But TSA Thindang didn't care. It's better than just standing and doing nothing like you. Last time we had a chance to defeat the Demon Valley because, before he could finish, Track Fam cut him off, it's because we ambushed them in a formation array. In the array, no matter how fast a celestial profound expert is, they were obstructed. But now I can't just set up an array right in front of him and invite him in, can I? Hearing Track Fam's words, TSA Thindang was so angry he gritted his teeth. Although he understood those words were correct, he couldn't accept Track Fam's attitude. Someone important was in danger, yet he calmly analyzed the pros and cons. TSA Thindang said disappointedly, Track Fam, I knew you were just a dishonorable little person, but a man should keep his word, good or bad. You promised to take Ling Huang out of the city, but if you can't do it, you're just a coward. He said and left, no longer paying attention to Track Fam. But what TSA Thindang didn't know was that after he left, Track Fam's eyes suddenly turned cold. Who says I'm not doing anything? Just wait. Then he found a secluded cave. Track Fam used spirit sand to draw a formation array on the ground, and placed the feather of the thundercloud falcon on top. When everything was ready, he laughed at himself. I never thought there'd come a day when I'd be forced to cultivate such a dangerous magic. But now, this is the only way to increase my power in a short time. To face a cunning old demon like the Demon Valley Lord, if I don't have overwhelming power over him, victory can't be 100% assured. Track Fam placed his hand down, activating the formation array. Immediately, all the spirit sand surrounded him, 
This was Track Fam's ultimate trump card, body refining in the great celestial demon path. This magic was extremely dangerous. During the refining process, not only would he feel pain as if his flesh and bones were being torn apart, but there was also the risk of his soul dissipating. Would Track Fam be able to successfully refine his body and reverse the situation? In the Nine Demon Valley secret records of the ancient demon emperor, a miraculous magic called the Great Celestial Demon Path was recorded. It could integrate pill refining materials into the body, transforming one into an indestructible diamond body. After successful refinement, the body would become as hard as steel, invincible in any battle. But the refining process was extremely painful, as if millions of blades were cutting every inch of flesh. The pain was tens of thousands of times worse than pill refining. One mistake could lead to the dissipation of the soul, never to be reincarnated. But for Jia Linghuang's sake, Track Fam had to take the risk and cultivate. Now he began the first stage. As soon as the spirit sand invaded his muscles, an unbearable pain he had never experienced struck him. This refining method would destroy his entire body from the inside out, then replace it with spirit sand to forge an indestructible diamond body. But the pain was almost impossible to endure. If not for the urgency, no matter how good the body refining method was, he would never cultivate it due to the excruciating pain. After a while, Track Fam barely overcame the first stage. The second stage was even more painful. As soon as it began, he felt like screaming from the pain, but he held it in because if he cried out now, he feared he wouldn't be able to withstand the pain of the third stage of refining the internal organs, and his soul would shatter. After the second stage ended, Track Fam nearly passed out. In the third stage of bone refining, he could only persevere through sheer willpower. Luckily he made it through. But just as he thought it was almost over, the spirit sand suddenly began destroying his Yuanchen, primordial spirit. If the Yuanchen was destroyed, his entire being would dissipate. After three stages of torture, Track Fam had no strength left to resist. At this moment, Track Fam felt his consciousness fading, a sign that his soul was about to dissipate. He never expected that he, with the status of a demon emperor, would ultimately die by his own hand. What a waste. As he was about to die, his past flashed before his eyes. From the moment he stepped into the demonic path, struggling to become the number one under heaven, with all these saints under his command, then he obtained the nine demon valley secret records but was betrayed by his disciples, reversing his life and death. Luckily, he was reborn as Track, the butler of the Luo family. As Track Fam recalled his past, suddenly two figures appeared, Jia Linghuang smiling at him, calling him Big Brother Track. Track Fam's eyes suddenly shot open, burning with determination. His consciousness gradually became clear. The reason he cultivated this magic was to save Jia Linghuang. How could he give up here? At the same time Track Fam regained consciousness, a green flame ignited on his forehead. The flame quickly spread, engulfing his entire body. Meanwhile, after hearing Track Fam's true purpose behind the engagement ceremony, Jia Dingqin believed it 8 or 9 parts out of 10. But since the Jia family was still a subordinate of the Demon Valley, the old man had to investigate clearly. So he immediately returned home as fast as he could. But when he arrived, the courtyard was abnormally quiet with no guards in sight. He had an ominous premonition. Sure enough, the Demon Valley Lord was now sitting in the main hall with his subordinates, waiting for him. Seeing this, Jia Dingqin was horrified and quickly kowtowed, never expecting the Demon Valley Lord's esteemed presence. How discourteous of me. Please forgive me, Demon Valley Lord. The Demon Valley Lord coldly said, the Jia family has relied on the Demon Valley for hundreds of years, hasn't it? Jia Dingqin trembled and quickly nodded in confirmation. The Demon Valley Lord approached him and said, I'm glad you think so. But why did you collude with outsiders to steal the spirit sand of the Demon Valley? Jia Dingqin hurriedly explained, Demon Valley Lord, there must be some misunderstanding. The Jia family is absolutely loyal to the Demon Valley. We would never dare do such a thing. Moreover, we don't have the courage to do that. Seeing the old man's denial, the Demon Valley Lord coldly laughed and said, Then what about your granddaughter, Jia Linghuang? Hearing that name, Jia Dingqin's mind went blank. The Demon Valley Lord roared, Let me tell you, your granddaughter colluded with two brats to steal my spirit sand, and they've already died in the Beast Mountain. The Demon Valley Lord believed Track Fam and the others had died. Although he didn't kill them himself, with such severe injuries, they couldn't have escaped that strange creature. However, the Jia family's crime couldn't be forgiven. To take revenge, he decided to use the lives of the entire Jia family to compensate for this loss. Thinking so, he ordered his subordinates outside to bring them in. 
Jia Dingqin trembled and turned back. Only then did he see the Demon Valley Lord's subordinates dragging in the entire Jia family, bound in ropes, men, women, children, even infants. To avenge this, he decided to use the lives of the entire Jia family to compensate for this loss. Thinking so, he ordered them to be brought in. Jia Dingqin trembled and turned back. Seeing his son and all his family members dragged in, covered in wounds from torture, the old man could no longer restrain his fury. Demon Valley Lord, the Jia family has been absolutely loyal to the Demon Valley for a hundred years, guarding Qingling Cheng, always fulfilling our duties. Even if we have no merit, we have endured hardships. Why does the Demon Valley treat its subordinate clan like this? But the Demon Valley Lord didn't care for his words. In his eyes, the Jia family was merely a pack of useful guard dogs. But now, this old dog dares to ask for rewards from its master? Such a dog has no value to exist. Jia Dingqin never expected that after after so many years of loyalty, they would end up like this. But now everything was clear. The old man had nothing left to regret. He shouted at the Demon Valley Lord, I ask about Ling Huang's marriage. Did you plan to use her as an ingredient for pill refining? The question caught the Demon Valley Lord slightly off guard. We've been planning this for a long time. I didn't expect a subordinate clan to discover it. So it was because of that girl that you betrayed us? Hearing his admission, Jia Dingqin furiously charged at the Demon Valley Lord, determined to fight to the death with him. Jia Dingqin never expected that after so many years of loyalty, his clan would be treated like guard dogs. Now his entire family was about to be annihilated. The old man was enraged and decided to no longer endure the humiliation. He would fight a life and death battle with the Demon Valley Lord. Although the old man's fighting will was extremely strong, confronting the Demon Valley Lord was impossible. No matter how determined he was, he could never defeat the Demon Valley Lord's terrifying power. The opponent was already at the third level of the Celestial Profound Realm, while the old man had just reached the Celestial Profound Realm. The gap was like the distance between heaven and earth. In the blink of an eye, Jia Dingqin was struck by the Demon Valley Lord, smashing heavily against the wall and losing all his fighting strength. Just as the Demon Valley Lord was about to deliver the final blow, a voice suddenly rang out from behind, don't kill him. The Demon Valley Lord turned around to see who dared say that and was shocked to find it was Jia Linghuang, who was supposed to have died at the hands of the creature in the mountain. He was completely surprised that the girl had survived, but thinking again, this was also good. Since the little ingredient had returned, Jia Linghuang held a knife to her own throat, threatening, so you want to use me as an ingredient for pill refining? Then quickly release my family. Otherwise, I'll kill myself right in front of you. The Demon Valley Lord laughed sinisterly. Little Ling Huang, you overestimate your own worth. I want to use you for cultivation, but you're not irreplaceable. You don't have the qualifications to bargain with me. However, the Demon Valley Lord didn't know that Jia Ling Huang had learned the Demon Valley lacked ingredients for cultivation, so she was now very valuable. Seeing the Demon Valley Lord wanted to kill her, Jia Ling Huang threatened to commit suicide along with her family. Seeing this, the Demon Valley Lord panicked. Don't, don't. Jia Ling Huang smiled. It seems the Demon Valley Lord still regrets my death. Seeing her confidence, the Demon Valley Lord asked suspiciously. That brat hasn't died either, has he? Jia Ling Huang was startled, knowing the old man was referring to Zhou Fan. But she denied it, he died in the Beast Mountain. If you want to find him, go look for his corpse. Maybe the monsters have already eaten his body. But the Demon Valley Lord only laughed coldly. Don't try to fool me. It's not that I underestimate you, but with your intelligence, you couldn't have come up with such a scheme. That brat must have taught you. Jia Ling Huang didn't expect this old man to be so perceptive, deducing the truth with just a few words. He continued, fine, I admit defeat this time. I was fooled by a young girl like you. I won't demand your family's lives anymore. Hearing this, Jia Ling Huang was overjoyed. But immediately after, the Demon Valley Lord suddenly attacked, knocking out Jia Dingqin. Seeing him break his promise, Jia Ling Huang angrily wanted to resist. But the Demon Valley Lord coldly cut her off. I only promised not to take their lives, not to spare them. Your grandfather is a celestial profound expert after all. I had to restrict his power. When we return to the Demon Valley, I'll release them. He then ordered his disciples to escort Jia Linghuang to the prison cell, preparing to depart for the Demon Valley the next morning. Among the disciples was a familiar face, Diang Mingza, who had disappeared for some time. Looking at Jia Linghuang, he sneered, so this is the cultivation ingredient for my senior brother? Quite a beauty. For the sake of her family, 
Jia Linghuang had to accept entering the tiger's den of the Demon Valley. She had unintentionally overheard the conversation between Diang Mingzi and the Demon Valley Lord about Zhou Fan killing two elders. Initially, the Demon Valley Lord didn't believe an ordinary qi condensation cultivator could kill two celestial profound experts. But now he believed it, because a month ago, he had encountered such a freak as well. However, the Demon Valley Lord didn't know that the freak he mentioned was actually Luo Jia Zhou. Zhou Fan's butler. At this point, Diang Mingzi asked how to deal with the Luo family, but the Demon Valley Lord said they needed to first take care of the little devil in the Beast Mountain, before making plans for Zhou Fan. Hearing all this, Jia Linghuang was furious in her heart. She felt that Zhou Fan was being hunted because of his connection to her, but now, she was like a fish on the cutting board, unable to help. She could only pray for his safety. Elsewhere, in a cave, the mysterious white-haired man suddenly let out a shocked cry. He discovered that the green flame he had given Zhou Fan had disappeared. This could only mean two possibilities. Either Zhou Fan had destroyed it himself, or Zhou Fan had taken it, escaping his control. But then the man laughed at himself. If the brat had truly been destroyed, he would be dead. How could he have absorbed the green flame? Even saint-level experts couldn't receive his blessing, let alone a mere bone undermining cultivator. In another cave, a strange purple aura permeated the air. A figure emerged from within, and with just a light touch on the cave wall, the entire cave collapsed instantly. Such terrifying power, it could be none other than Zhou Fan, who had nearly died from cultivation before. But in the end, he succeeded, shedding his old body and obtaining an indestructible diamond physique. This body, tempered by the flowing sand, was no weaker than a fifth grade spirit weapon. What surprised Zhou Fan even more was that the mysterious man's green flame had also been absorbed during his cultivation. Now, it had merged with Zhou Fan's Yuan Shen, becoming the Yuan Shen flame. From now on, not only could he control it, but it would also protect his Yuan Shen safely. Even celestial profound experts couldn't harm him in the slightest. Thinking of this, Zhou Fan couldn't help but feel elated. But his transformation went even further. Suddenly, two large wings sprouted from his back. They were the wings of the thundercloud beast that he had incorporated into his body refinement. With this, his only shortcoming compared to celestial profound cultivators had been overcome. Immediately, Zhou Fan sped towards Chenglang City. Demon Valley Lord, it's time for you to die. It's always admirable when a young lady from a small family marries into a great clan. But few know that this is essentially a transaction. Jia Linghuang willingly became a cultivation ingredient for the Demon Valley to save her entire family. And the marriage was just an excuse to lure their cultivation ingredient. Seeing the Demon Valley Lord personally escorting her, Jia Linghuang knew he was keeping a close watch on her to prevent her from escaping. However, this was also good. As long as the Demon Valley Lord left Chenglang City, Zhou Fan and Za would have a chance to flee. But it seemed the Demon Valley Lord had anticipated her intentions. He approached and whispered to Miss Ling Huang. Before leaving Chenglang, I had the entire Beast Mountain sealed off, including your secret passage. No one can leave until I return. Jia Ling Huang was stunned, not expecting this old man to be so cunning. Before she could speak, the Demon Valley Lord continued, No need to say more. Your life has been exchanged for your fathers and brothers. You can't exchange anyone else's. Hearing this, Jia Linghuang felt despair. Jia Linghuang didn't know what to do. As the Demon Valley Lord said, she had no more bargaining chips. Although she knew Zhou Fan and Za were in danger, she was powerless. Suddenly, she felt a faint pulse from the Thunder Spirit Rain. That meant Zhou Fan was also nearby. Sure enough, a shout rang out. Za Tianyang appeared in mid-air, sword descending towards the Demon Valley Lord. You're still not dead? The Demon Valley Lord exclaimed in surprise. But you're just a bone undermining cultivator, yet you dare challenge me? He raised his hand, firing a blast of energy at Za Tianyang. Facing a celestial profound expert, Za Tianyang didn't dare let his guard down and used his energy to block the attack. After a thunderous explosion, the area where Za Tianyang stood was completely destroyed. Fortunately, he managed to withstand the assault. But just as he thought he was lucky, the Demon Valley Lord's voice came from behind. Which sect of the Sword Guard Manor are you from? Za Tianyang quickly turned and struck, but the power gap was too great. Before he could make a move, the Demon Valley Lord was already in front of him and sent him flying with a palm strike. Demon Valley disciples immediately restrained Za Tianyang. The Demon Valley Lord approached him, if not for the Sword Guard Lord, I would have killed you with that last strike. But Za Tianyang just scoffed, go ahead and kill me. Then there will be a war between the Demon Valley and Sword Guard Manor. 
Can you bear the consequences? Seeing his arrogance, the Demon Valley Lord raged. You little brat, you think I fear the Sword Guard Manor? Today you trespassed on my land and caused trouble. I kill you, and they can't say anything. He grabbed Za Tianyang, but at that critical moment, a sudden sword chi flew towards them. The Demon Valley Lord hastily dodged to the side. Looking up, an old white-haired man now stood beside Za Tianyang. Recognizing the newcomer, the Demon Valley Lord smiled. It's been 50 years, old friend. You're still well, I see. The Lina man who doesn't act gallantly for a beauty has wasted his youth truly befits Za Tianyang. For the girl he loves, he risked his life venturing into danger to rescue her, but due to insufficient strength, he was quickly captured by the Demon Valley. At the critical moment, the Sword Guard Manor expert, Elder Jian Suifeng, appeared, saving Za Tianyang from death. Za Tianyang immediately saw hope, asking the Elder to rescue Jia Linghuang. But Jian Suifeng looked at the Demon Valley Lord and coldly refused, saying this was an internal Demon Valley matter, which he could not intervene in. In truth, years ago, Jian Suifeng had been tricked by the Demon Valley Lord, losing three fingers. Coincidentally, in his youth, Jian Suifeng had also suffered defeat for loving a second-rank Demon Valley girl, having to cede three cities to the Demon Valley before being spared. Now facing his old enemy, though shaking with rage, he dared not act. Meanwhile, the Demon Valley Lord just looked at him with disdain. Fifty years ago, Jian Suifeng was no match for him, let alone now. In the Demon Valley Lord's eyes, among the thirteen elders of the Sword Guard Manor, only the top seven were worth his glance. Jian Suifeng and the rest were beneath contempt. Facing such blatant disdain, Jian Suifeng was furious to the point of exploding, but still gritted his teeth and endured the humiliation. Turning to leave with Za Tianyang, Za said, even if the Elder Sword won't say this, he should still fight for the Sword Guard Manor's honor. Why leave so easily? But Jian Suifeng cut him off, can't you see I'm no match for them? HMPH, don't you see they're deliberately provoking us? This is Demon Valley territory, win or lose, we're at a disadvantage. Za Tianyang understood Jian Sufeng's words were true, but he understood his own heart even more. If he couldn't save Ling Huang today, he would regret it for life. At this moment, the Demon Valley Lord, watching the confrontation, laughed loudly, so young and reckless, ignorant of the danger. Since this sword guard brat is so eager to play the hero, I'll give you another chance. Suddenly, several hanging racks appeared, with the entire Jia family bound tightly on them. If you can save her whole family, she'll be even more grateful. Seeing this, Jia Linghuang panicked, Demon Valley Lord, what are you doing? But he ignored her, ordering the torture to begin. Ling Huang tried to threaten with her life but was restrained by Demon Valley disciples, unable to move. Only then did she realize negotiating with the likes of the Demon Valley Lord was foolish. But now it was too late for regrets. She had intended to sacrifice herself for her family, but everything had fallen apart. Just as Jia Ling Huang was in despair, a few purple feathers suddenly descended from the sky. Looking up, she was stunned to see Zhu Xian flying above. Jia Ling Huang was completely dumbfounded, not believing her eyes. Zhu Xian said, Ah, we meet again. I lost the first round. Now it's the second round. Zhu Xian appeared like a descending celestial, looking down upon everyone. The Demon Valley Lord had predicted Zhu Xian wasn't dead, but didn't expect him to rapidly reach the bone-severing realm like this. Beside him, Jian Suifeng was also startled. Theoretically, the young man before him was just in the bone-severing realm with a flying device. But the aura he exuded made the celestial profound expert feel an inexplicable pressure. He wondered who this mysterious young man was. At this moment, Za Tianyang smiled, he's my friend, the friend I trust the most, yet also doubt the most. Hearing this, Jian Suifeng was astonished. Someone who could receive such an evaluation from the Sword Guard Manor's young master was certainly no ordinary person. Meanwhile, the Demon Valley Lord felt very uneasy, thinking Zhu Xian was just putting on an act. But his cultivation speed made him wary, and more determined to eliminate Zhu Xian. So he ordered Yang Mingzi to deal with Zhu Xian. But upon seeing Zhu Xian, Yang Mingzi was scared out of his wits. Zhu Xian also noticed him, smiling meaningfully. Ah, it's you. I still regret letting you escape. This time, let's settle our old scores. Hearing this, the Demon Valley Lord turned to Jia Linghuang in surprise. How do you know him? And Yang Mingzi seemed not to hear, trembling non-stop, his attitude showing how terrified he was. Seeing this, Jian Suifeng couldn't help but mock, indeed, a famous master's mere presence is intimidating. Today, this old man witnesses the so-called heroes of the Demon Valley. 
The Demon Valley Lord, hearing this, turned red with anger, and kicked Yang Mingzi hard in the face. Useless fool, he's only just reached the bone severing realm, yet you, at the second level of bone severing, are scared out of your wits? However, Yang Mingzi's eyes looking at Zhu Xian still held only horror. Seeing that eerie smile, he was so terrified he nearly soiled himself. Then he crawled to the Demon Valley Lord's feet, crying, Master, he is the Zhu family's butler, Zhu Xian. He killed Elder Yun and Elder Jian. The Demon Valley Lord was utterly astonished upon hearing this, not expecting the youth before him was Zhu Xian. No wonder Jia Linghuang was so terrified upon seeing him. She had developed a deep fear and trauma towards Zhu Xian. To free his disciple from this trauma, he needed to let him personally kill Zhu Xian. Thinking this, the Demon Valley Lord turned back, ordering, whoever dares capture that brat will be greatly rewarded. Immediately, a large man stepped forward, let me do it. Seeing him seize the opportunity, the other disciples felt regretful. The Demon Valley Lord told Yang Mingzi to observe carefully, then said, this brat is only formidable with formations. Outside of formations, he's not scary. Wait for the big man to capture him, then you kill him yourself, and your trauma will disappear. Indeed, this large man was at the sixth level of the bone severing realm. Normally dealing with Zhu Xian who had just reached bone severing would be very simple. Even Jian Suifeng thought Zhu Xian would surely lose. But Za Tianyang confidently smiled, that brat is too calm. He'll definitely be fine. They saw the large man slowly approach Zhu Xian. Without a word, he punched straight at Zhu Xian's face. But Zhu Xian stood still, as if unable to react in time. The large man didn't hold back. Punching with all his might, the impact created a deep crater in the ground. Such terrifying power made everyone gasp. The Demon Valley Lord smiled smugly. But then he widened his eyes seeing the large man cradling his deformed arm. Groaning in pain, while Zhu Xian merely smiled, as if nothing had happened. Then he struck back with a punch. What surprised everyone was that this punch went straight through the large man's chest, instantly defeating him. Zhu Xian sneered, just the sixth level of bone severing, yet you dare provoke me. At the first level, you deserve to die. Everyone stared at the scene in astonishment. What kind of monster is this? At that moment, two iron chains suddenly emerged from under Zhu Xian's feet, binding him tightly. It turned out the Demon Valley Lord had predicted Zhu Xian's arrival and set up this trap underground beforehand. Seeing this, Jian Suifeng knew things would not bode well. This is the Demon Valley Lord's fourth grade treasure, his lethal weapon. No matter how skilled, it will be hard to escape death. However, Zhu Xian calmly joked, you're as cautious as ever. 